Hello! Hello and welcome to, um... Oh, oh god. Oh no, I'm hearing myself. Also, they're- they're muted. How do I- they're- they're fucking muted! Okay, okay, actually, god, hang on, there's- there's gonna be technical difficulties for a hot second again. Um... Ah! Hello! And welcome to the 100th anniversary Dad and Sons episode, oh not anniversary. <laughs> wait, wait. I know this is unpro unprofessional, but are we both recording? Are we all recording right now? Oh shit! I'm oh my god! I'm not I recording. Say, we I knew, I knew. <laughs> <laughs> we, okay, we forgot okay, to I'm sync. Okay, okay. Um, let's do an audio sync, guys. In three, <laughs> two, no, do one. It no, no. Are we are are we all are we all ready for this? We we, yeah, we, we no, got we got to do our time sync. Okay. Yeah. Three, two, one. Sync. Sync. Oh my God. This okay. Is how exciting. how how deep into the recording was that? Five minutes in. That's the sync. Oh, all right. I wasn't, I wasn't recording at all, so I don't know. You have to double. You know mind. what? I'm I'm recording now too. I don't even fucking know. Point is, hello and welcome to the, the Sausage Festival. As you can <laughs> see, we are lifting up our kilts and showing everyone all the goodies about how the the dad and son's office culture works, if you will. <clears throat> Um, for those of you watching and for those of you listening, we're going to be a little more narratively descriptive than usual. Uh, maybe using some some emotive body language, if you will, with with our adult beverages. I have with me some um, each wine uh, because I I didn't want things to get too crazy here with with all the crazy multitasking and technical difficulties. George, 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 yes. George, stop, yes. stop the show. Stop yes. the show. Already me and Matt are too quiet, according to Jack. Okay, okay. Um um hold 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 the sausage festival. Everyone grab onto your sausages. Let me open up my there's Windows volume mixer. There's this a thing, George, right here. Oh my god. <laughs> right above me. All right. This is a thing. Uh, Matt, Matt, I do, you're not waving at me. I I got it. I made you guys oh, a little there it is, louder. There it is, there it is. Um, <laughs> I, I'm too busy watching an advert to see the stream, so I don't even know what's happening. Okay, and now... It's a delay. It's ridiculous. <laughs> now you guys might be too loud, so I guess we're about to find out as I continue the introduction. Because much like the usual, we are going to be having myself and Matt Visual and Liam Edwards leading this choo-choo train wreck to the dramatically unchoreographed, unplanned out conclusion that will await all of us in an hour and a half. We're going to try to take live calls, and, and we three have already already experienced how unpredictable the system is like yeah. i might just slap the number out on the screen and nothing will happen and we'll just have to figure out what to do from there i might have to do one-on-one -on -one calls with people and bring you guys back in point is it's the sausage festival we're slopping it through the tubes and pushing it out no matter how hard it is Oh my um, god, we've got 150 people already watching Jesus this garbage. Christ. Jesus when Christ. When I last looked at the number, it was at 40. What happened? But uh, uh, We went live. <laughs> That'll do it, I guess. <laughs> that might have helped. So, we're going to yeah, start... Uh, we're, we're still too quiet, and you're too loud. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, <laughs> doing it by feedback, I'm going to lower my mic a little bit and raise the desktop audio. Can you guys say something? Hello. Yes. Hello. Dude. Hello. 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 Is such a, a, a imprecise art, and that's not true because I just couldn't think of a better word. But <laughs> having to adjust your audio levels by audience feedback is fucking nuts. I'm sure there's a better way. I don't know it. That's why this is the Dad and Son Sausage Festival because we want you, <laughs> our beloved sons, daughters, or whatever personal relationship you've decided you are, we, we want you to just know how much we're cramming into our package here and, and how, how <sighs> messy and sloppy the process is behind yeah. making something that looks delightful and tasty and wonderful and... I, I I want to say something. We had no i no idea why George want to call it uh, the sausage festival. Sausage fest. No, yeah, he, I don't Wait. think he realizes the connotations. No idea. You don't yeah, know? yeah. Like the, have... the phrase, seeing how the sausage is made. It's like about how sausage is tasty, but when you're like seeing the animals get grounded up into goop, it's real gross, and it makes you not like sausage <laughs> as much as you used to. Wow. Well, wow. there are no women, so I guess 
<laughs> I mean, <laughs> right. There you go. Random person coming onto this stream like sausage festival. Hmm. Mm. This is really yeah. mm. called the Dan and Sons. Mm. Even the even the color is even the color of the text for sausage is a little. <laughs> mm. And mm. there's a little drip. There's a little bit drip on the edge. There's a little. <laughs> Are we good? Are we good now? Are we good now? We we are good, but I also just remembered that I do have my old donation audio cues going on. So when anyone sends like more than a, a couple dollars or something, we're gonna hear Snake Eater. This money better get back to me and Matt if we have to deal with Snake Eater. There's I I, I the whole song you, there, there, every time. <laughs> the whole Does song. it double as people? I I can donate. send you screenshots of my books. The, the books <laughs> will be books. kept. Yes, yes, we're 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 gonna fairly distribute labor and rewards here on the Dallas. I mean, I took the Festival. afternoon off work from making games for this shit. You guys better be happy. <laughs> better enjoy our sausage. But just oh think about God. how President Obama didn't even think we'd make it to 100 episodes. <laughs> I know Wait. Obama even he emailed us saying, "You'll never make it." Never. Just. What? Just no believe thing. you might. What? I don't even know if Obama <laughs> believed. <What's> happening. <laughs> so, um, do you guys have any 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 fun stories to tell from the week? Games we've played, movies we've seen, people we've encountered in our lives. Any 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 stories to tell? I mean, what? Where do we even start with this? We, we, uh, it's weird doing it live, right? It's so weird. Right. People don't realize this was all on. just an elaborate scheme of mine so I can see Matt's face. Like, oh, yes. look at, look, I'm going to point this way. Just look, look at, look at this. Now with oh, yeah. this finely there. groomed man. Look, oh, my look. God. Right. Am I doing it right? No. Yeah, yeah, I am. I am. There. Well, <laughs> yeah, so, look so at this late look, stream there. Since yeah, this there. is still <laughs> technically a podcast, I feel like we should describe for our listeners what just happened. Oh yeah, shit! <laughs> People are gonna listen to this after. So, so if you're if you're imagining a regular old uh, podcast um, streaming layout where you have the separate squares of the casters, imagine if you will them reaching through the walls between them, going through the frame of yeah, yeah. I I, I think no, no, Matt, you gotta you gotta turn your your arm underneath the frame so that we can get an optical illusion going on here. What, like a ball grab? Yeah, like, yeah. We we can all hug each other through the frame. Oh, I'm in the middle. I stretch both of you. Oh. 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 Can I, like... <laughs> I'll be a cool trick if I just walk over to George's <laughs> house from here. <laughs> now it... Can you imagine if you just stood up and put your head through the other corner? We just set up elaborate... You see them, like, like hey! one, one frame and into the another. Anyways, yes, that's what we're doing here. We're playing with visual gags here on a mainly audio podcast about video games that's had no talk about video games yet. It's on a video game streaming platform service that's, like... Not really about video games anymore either. George, my audio needs a boost up. Big surprise there. News of the century. Story of the hour. Oh, man. I can't believe what that story is going to be about the audio in an actual hour. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> mm, it's carbonated. It's fizzy. It's nice. Well, what have you what been you? up to, fellas? What yeah. have you been up to? Who, who, who starts here? A lot of pressure, right? Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna okay. start. Fuck okay. it. Okay. I'm gonna start. Yesterday, shovel night means it came to an end. Came to an end? What do you mean? Shovel night finally came to an end. The final DLC for Shovel Knight uh, came oh, out. Final DLC. Came, I thought you were talking about like a spin-off game or a little. No, expansion sequel, I mean, but... I mean to be fair, there is gonna be a spin-off <laughs> game made by a different company. I think Nitro or whatever. Shovel Knight Dig, but. All of the DLC that they promised in the Kickstarter and stuff like that, King Knight, the King of Cards, and also like their Smash Brothers style multiplayer. Oh, what? Cool. Shovel Knight Showdown came out. <laughs> is this a battle royale? And it is fucking excellent. It's so good. I stayed behind in the office with a couple of people last night to play until past midnight. It's so much fun. It is a great party game. I can't believe. That it's free. If you own the game, you get it already. Oh, you get oh, two bits oh, of DLC. Oh. These huge pieces of DLC you just get for free. It's uh, amazing. Uh, I I feel like 
Man, I always have like some some downer to bring it to, right? I love Shovel Knight. I love that they do these these free campaigns that they grow in here. But I have to, you know, keep things socially lubricated to keep a conversation going so that there is time being filled. Um, <laughs> I have I have a problem with this, and it's a problem that's not even a real problem. That is, it's been so long since Shovel Knight has come out. I remember so? playing. Do anything? That, that's the thing. I remember playing Plague Knight when they released that expansion pack for a little bit and having a damn good time with it. And that was yeah. what, like 2017. It's been two. No, years. it was 20, 2015. It was the first game I played when I moved to Japan. Yeah. It point is, it came out so long ago, and the releases of what are actually really substantial pieces of content that are, in my experience, really well made, they're spread out for such a long period between each other. Do you think that's going to be good for them in the long run? I'm worried about Yacht Club. I'm worried. I wouldn't worry. Stuff is they sold stuck. like 2.6 million copies of Shovel Knight Treasure Trove, and then that's not in counting all of the other <laughs> Shovel Knights prior. My problem is that they keep making good stuff for free. Well, they don't. You still have to buy the original game. It's just like you're almost you're being paid in installments. <laughs> you're you're getting the game back in installments, which is pretty cool. But it is a lot of content and well, showdown. Like showdown Shovel Knight, right off the bat, was one of my favorite games of that year. Yeah, heck yeah, King King Knight. So far, the King of Cards, which has like its own triple triad. It's really? <laughs> pretty good. Yeah, it has this thing called Joustus, which is like a, a, a triple triad style Gwen-esque card game that you have to play. It's pretty good so far, but Showdown is truly... Okay, so I think truly Long, the meat. Long Square in the chat just mentioned something that I think sums up the weirdness. Shovel Knight is an episodic game. This is totally an episodic... I feel like it should be. I feel like they're sitting on top of so much more extra extra dollar dues they could make. Profit oh that they could God. just rip out of the ground. It would Dollary be like an dues. oil well made out of Shovel Knight games if they actually sold them for money, I'm sure. I don't know. Where am I going with this devil's advocacy? I don't know. But if you own... you Maybe you don't even know because it's been that long. But if you own Treasure Trove on your Steam or your Wii or whatever, you get how good you can get it for free and you can play it so like i forgot because i was looking at my switch and i was like oh i'm gonna buy this look at all these campaigns it's great and then i was like wait a second i'm pretty sure i own this on wii u and also steam on wii u i just own shovel knight but then i went to steam and i was like oh wait i have treasure trove right here oh. i have the whole game and all the extensions and i yeah. completely forgot but there yeah. you go I, I actually wonder if that's how they're getting away with it, all these multi-platform releases that always keep up, up with the, the latest platforms. Because people will rebuy Shovel Knight willy-nilly, nothing... N n no resistance to it. I know. You just purchase it in a, in a Steam sale or something for like five bucks, and you're like, oh, wait, I bought more than Shovel Knight. I got Plague Knight, Spectre Knight, King Knight, and now Showdown. It's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Matt, have you, are you, are you, what are you playing? What are you doing? Oh, <laughs> Apart no. from looking all damn fancy and handsome over there, oh, look no. at you. Someone oh, no. just complimented Matt's teeth. You're How sexy. can they tell? Se you're sexy too, Liam. Come but, on they're, now. they're a little square. Uh, I, I'm, I'm blinded <laughs> by the outside of the Japanese sunshine, so I look more white than George, which is weird. <laughs> no, 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 you still have a little bit of pink in you. George is just like... I've got, like, oh, literally a window it's right in front right. of me, like, <laughs> stage lighting. Okay, this is how I guess we can test our colorblindness, right? Do, does Matt look a kind of orangey-green to you guys, or just me? Green? So I, like the color is that why of... you've never treated Matt like a black man? You've always been like, well, he's kind of just a gray man. <laughs> is that why? Is that why we became friends in Atlanta? He, he, he is the color you of... Saw me, you saw me at Publix, and you're like... Oh, here's an, another that guy's green gray. guy. Gotta yeah. get some, that guy's some, gray. Some milk coffee. <laughs> oh, you mean he's gay? No, he's gray. He's gray. <laughs> but <laughs> he yeah, lived your life. I don't know if it's the webcam, but there's there's kind of a, a oh, like, the, yeah, you know, the webcam is pretty uh, sickly. Yeah. That's looking. That's looking a it. fine, fine yeah. glow. A if fine, you say so. A nice 480p. I'm sure, I'm sure that's what it is. Well, I went down the hole because I, you know, I had that itch for an RPG and I was like, maybe I should go and look up a list of the top RPGs again. It's because I went through and played what Final Fantasy VII 
and then Final Fantasy IX. Um, so I went and played Chrono Trigger. <gasps> Have you known Chrono Trigger? Trigger. Chrono Tr- I huh? feel like you've talked about Chrono Trigger before. That I was going to try it out. And then I was like, uh, <laughs> and I, I dipped out of it. <laughs> but then I tried it again. And I, I'm like, what, 15 hours in, I think? 15, 15 hours. hours in. So you're almost it, near the end, right? Is, is oh, that, no. Is that short? Oh, okay. well, it's, it's like 20 hours, really. That's not bad. That's not bad. It's not as um, long as you think it is. Yeah. It, it's, I, I still think it's pretty good. You know, I, 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 it's, it's Chrono it's, Trigger, baby. Yeah, you can't like, go wrong with Chrono Trigger. Yeah, you can't go wrong. It's like the best RPGs of all time. Uh, you know, things probably at the time, heck yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. I can see, I can see where that came from. Chrono Trigger's writing, I feel, is the hardest part of it to go back to. Like, there's some some concessions in there that that remind me that it's for kids in in the yeah. early to mid '90s. And they're talking about time, and it it gets a little muddy there. The translations so of, of Japanese stuff back then was always wonky, and now I feel it's kind of aged into a page filling. <laughs> what? What games do you like, George? I like Halo games. Reach. The problem is, is that it's like we we live in a society where we're expected to criticize everything, man. <laughs> Um, Just be like Liam the, and like the, everything. We're the, we're the heroes. We're the ones who have to be positive about everything. I mean, ignore the past 99 mm. episodes with Matt and me trashing things, but mm. this episode, all Wait. positivity. Mm. <laughs> that happened recently. We've been trashy recently. We've been going hard on it. Mm. <laughs> Or okay. Pokemon. You know, there, there might just be a reason I'm in this mood in particular, and that might be because I am watching my way through BoJack Horseman. Oh, ah, so you're, doing, you're, you're Matt from a couple of weeks it. ago. Dude, yeah. Guys, it's a little that would scary. Do it. I don't know if you guys like feel the same terrifying horror watching this cartoon horse grow old oh. ungracefully. <laughs> But it's, oh, it's so good. It really it's so good. <laughs> it it took its stride to to become terrifying. But in the first four episodes, I was actually expecting it to be a lot worse than it was. Because people have told me I'd probably like BoJack, but that you have to go through the first few episode hump that you seem to have to go through for everything. But no, you I have know, to go through the first season. Was it that bad of a, of a first few episodes? It wasn't that bad of a first season. In fact, the second half of it, I thought was gold from well bojack bojack doesn't know what it wants to be until like two seasons in really yeah. it's like oh this is a comedy about a failed tv actor but he's a horse and then it's like <laughs> boom and then it gets impressive gun. well every the time thing, you think he's getting on his feet just i something else happens i, I think bad. i'm i was able to get hooked extra hard because i can so painfully relate like, as as someone who had a YouTube channel that was maybe a lot more important a few years ago, it's like watching this in 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 sync with that is is an emotionally engrossing and terrifying experience. And it it feels uh. not like a comedy. It feels like just <laughs> sadness, like an exploration of what it means to be sad. Does it make you feel that one day they'll make a, a Bojack Georgeson who will be like a, a washed up YouTuber who... Oh, they will. Oh, they will. I mean, if I can capitalize on it and like Back get some in 2019, out of it. I was and, a and, really hated YouTuber. Yeah, and um, like, uh, what's he? Uh, peanut... What's it? Peanut... <laughs> Peanut butter? Peanut, What's his name? Mr. Peanut butter? Mr. Mr. Who's the Mr. dog? Mr. Peanut butter. Mr. Peanut, Mr. Peanut, Peanut butter. butter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, wait, I'm missing it. something. Mr. Peanut butter. No, you're not yeah, missing. I, I mean, it's just I Mr. Peanut butter. It. Mr. Peanut butter will probably be like Logan Paul or something. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you remember that suicide incident? Nobody does. It's fine. It's all good. I was just being positive. Don't worry about it. Yeah, that's another thing. The <laughs> songs are really, really good. The intro and the outro are some catchy earworms. I really like how... Um, uh. The, the the outro sounds like folk music, but sang by awkward pubescent <laughs> boys. So basically what you're saying, George, is that you have played zero, count them, zero games this week. Mm-mm. I played Halo Reach, but we talked about that last week. 
But this right. week, I also am getting into Goose Game. Which, Ooh, um, the, the, the nominated for Game of the Year Game Awards. The, the Subway Goose Game. Fresh Hit. No. Untitled Goose Game. Uh Matt, you don't like the, the, the nominated for the Game of the Year Game Awards Goose Game? No, it's just the Subway Fresh thing. I remember when joke, uh, uh, George said that. And I oh, thought right. Was, yeah, yeah. I it was a joke. It's not a joke. <laughs> Subway <laughs> Fresh. Whatever. You know, get your money. <laughs> so, so, hey, guys. I hate to break the fourth wall again, but um, you know how yeah. I, I made a specialty. Oh, but thanks for that. Um, you know how I made a specialty <laughs> Skype account for this occasion? <laughs> yes. You don't, don't have, have any of the guests. On the friends list. Yeah. Can you add Barry into our call for us, Liam? Thank you. Are we are we adding Barry in right now? Oh yeah, it's Barry time. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, can you can you message him on Discord and yep. be like, hold on to your butt? Yep, yep, I I, I tried at least. <laughs> oh, okay. So I uh, maybe I don't have Barry. Whoa, hang on a sec. Hmm. Ask 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 him for his for his thing. <laughs> Barry. Oh Barry Kramer. I got him. I got him. So yeah, um I'm going through Duck Game. I went through Halo Reach. Uh I just instinctively said Duck Game. It was it was supposed to be Goose Game. Um have you guys played through the Halo Reach campaign? Um uh, yeah. Yeah, no, I have like long a long time, time ago. ago. Yeah, yeah. I went through it with a Halo first timer, actually, someone who hasn't played Halo before. Oh, and oh, that's cool. It wasn't that uh, different than normally, but it does. Oh, oh. Are, are we? There? Oh, yeah. There, there, oh, there is there. Can you hear me? Yes, we yes. can hear you. Can the Should I turn on hear? my webcam? No. <laughs> No, 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 no webcams for guests. I'm, I'm sorry. It's, it's a limitation of, of the, the streaming technology on display here. Hello, Barry. How are you? We just don't have the technology yet. We just don't. Well, George doesn't have the technology. I'm pretty sure we could get in. There. Another That's sausage totally enters the fest. Oh. <laughs> Is this, that how I, it's gonna work? I, I gotta go. Uh, <laughs> That's the weirdest um, way to be welcomed into a call. <laughs> so, hey, Barry, welcome. I was just uh, talking about Halo. We were going to talk about Goose Game. Um, yeah, I had the stream going. So I could, I could all all I wanted to say, really, with, with bringing Halo Reach back in this week, is that at the end of this process, this guy who had never played Halo before ever said, wow, Halo is a lot more smart than I had thought it was. That's I mean, by the time they got to reach, they could they had a lot of practice. I feel like that the, they're still on to something, though. Halo developed a reputation for being a, a stupid normie game for jocks playing Madden on their off time, but it's not that. I don't I don't know if it's ever really really deserved that reputation, but it got yeah, it somehow. I don't somehow. know if that reputation really sticks. If that's the public, definitely kinda. not anymore. I, that's how I remember it. In like 2003, all the all the coolest, most what? machoist, bu bulliest kids would flaunt their Halo collections. I, I no, <laughs> not for me. At your school uh, wasn't, not in Miami. Wasn't, wasn't, yeah, what? we used to go go over each other's house and four player it on a small little small little TV. <laughs> oh hey, by the way, I just started recording my audio, so yeah, <laughs> <There you> go. <laughs> I, had, I wasn't recording yet. I'm I'm gonna make a. <laughs> so good luck. I'm pretty sure that the vod is gonna be good enough, but in case <laughs> yeah, it isn't, are, I I have fun. options here. So hey, okay. uh, Barry, how 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 have you hey. been, old friend, old Barry? Ah, uh, I'm I'm doing great. Uh, I I played Halo Reach back when it came out, and I've not touched it since. Yeah, so um, I didn't play the I didn't play the campaign. Now I've just been playing the multiplayer, but I played the campaign way back. Same time as Barry. It was good then. I imagine it's good now. Yeah, I remember it was fun. Uh, it was different because I feel like after like, because they did like Halo 1 and 2 and those were just like bigger and better. And then I don't remember the exact timeline, but like ODST was super weird and had oh, a different vibe entirely. I can't wait to yeah. get to um, ODST. I'm going to look forward to that. 
it, I remember it being a lot of fun. It had a very different vibe. And then Reach as well, like, just kind of... Because it was, it was before Halo 1, I think? But it right? feels like Halo yeah, 1. Yeah. Like, they, they took another stab yeah. at doing Halo 1's levels and weapons again. It's a pretty Right, but right? it's not just a remake of Halo 1. There's a lot of new ideas in there. Yeah, it's um, like it being a, a good time. Homage, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I also picked up Goose Game three months, or are we two months behind schedule? I don't know. How long did it take me to, to uh, <laughs> hook onto that I think bandwagon? That was well, it's, it's, it's the now nominated for the Game of the Year, Game Awards, Subway Fresh, Indie Scene, Game of the Year, Game of the Year, Goose Game. So, uh, Goose Game's funny. <laughs> it looks... Dude, I, I love how they've rendered the goose itself. It looks like a white void that just got cut <laughs> out of the screen. Like, there is pure nothingness behind whatever point of space the goose occupies. Like, it's, it's yours like... and my uh, foreheads against our white backgrounds right now. <laughs> if, that, if, I if... hadn't thought about it, but did you guys ever play the Unfinished Swan? Yes. Oh, yeah. I, I know just, of it. You just describing the goose, I was like, I guess that is kind of aesthetically... I mean, it's very different, but just like like the plain, bit more pure depressing. white aesthetic. Like a pure white duck goose-shaped portal walking around. Yeah, just a weird... Just like a, like like a, like webbed flappers and a beak just in the void. <laughs> um, like, it's weird because the thing about Goose Game for me, like, I feel like, you know, it's it's great. It's fun. It's interesting and stuff. But the music, the way the music builds up, like... Almost like there's a live audience playing behind you while you're, uh, you know, with the controller yeah, and they're like drumming behind you and you're like, diddly, diddly, diddly. like you're really some sort of nuisance. It's brilliant. Yeah, um, like I, I especially following uh, Ape Out, which came out earlier this year, yeah. which also kind of had that kind of dynamic. Super you just feel similar. like there's just like a very goofy band following you wherever you go. <clears throat> um, yeah. Different vibe entirely. Ape Out is very kind of intense and violent, but with that like jazzy so kind it, of soundtrack it's weird actually because i mean it's been announced now and obviously it's still sort of going on but i've been a part of the igf festival judging and jury this year nice. so a lot of a lot of the talk has been about like untitled goose game and like go ape and like uh some yeah. of the like musical qualities between them and how similar they are yeah, and how yeah. how can you decide really between them about what is kind of doing better than the other it's really I feel interesting. Like Untitled Goose Game made a bigger splash because there's so much room for player expression. Yeah. You can really use the goose as a puppet and just get up to all these shenanigans. Whereas Ape Out, you're just going nuts and destroying like guards with your giant ape strength. Um, yeah, I mean, that's a bit more like of a, oh, you feel sorry for the ape. Whereas on the other hand, you get to play as a dickhead goose. I'm yeah. pretty sure. Yeah. And and it's it's fun to think of it in terms of player expression, because it's really a delicate balance, because that's, I, I guess, the most disappointing aspect to it for me is how linear and, and trial by error the gameplay feels. It's a puzzle game. Yeah. It's an adventure puzzler game where if you didn't have a funny goose in silly situations to laugh at, I don't know if the appeal would really. You mean if it was like a 90s point and click adventure game, you're like, oh, my God, just like finish doing your loop. So you can come back here so I can yeah. grab the thing. You'd yeah. be much more frustrated. It kind of feels like that, especially when people are chasing you in loops around the levels. There's some areas in Grim Fandango that feel like a titled goose game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking but about very, that, very that slow in, pace. That part of Grim Fandango early on where you have to, like, get some birds to pop a balloon mm -hmm. and scare them away. That that I could see that exact puzzle being in Goose Game, where it's like I gotta lure this thing over here, and then someone's gonna go, "Oh no, I'm startled now." Convoluted puzzles with elaborate solutions and a weirdly tanky control scheme. I I was expecting a little more grace out of controlling a goose, I guess, but who knows? I'm just uh, an egress of George. I was trying to alliterate the G's, but we can't edit. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Barry, what else other than playing games has led you your entire life to this moment to be on the hundredth episode of the Dan Sons podcast? Uh, here. Yeah, well, I mean, whatever the reason, the rationale for you guys letting me be on the podcast before, <laughs> it probably is still valid now. Um, and then you guys were like, we're having some repeat guests, and you asked me back, so this is on you. you. Like, this isn't on me. We gotta, we gotta celebrate. 
we're the, the best people we know how. We got to celebrate oh, with some good ones. That's, that's with very some good flattering. Ones. We we also we have the brilliant Racervic in the chat as well. So oh my God. We, we bring in all of the crew together. This is all coming oh, together. Dang. The whole gang. And Nitro yeah. Red is somewhere in the ether, probably ready and <laughs> waiting. <laughs> George, how are we structuring this? I thought we were going to do prizes and stuff. What's going on, yeah, man? Yeah, we're, yeah. We're, we're, like, doing, we're doing, doing prizes for, for the listeners later on when we uh, start taking calls. For now, we're okay. in the small talk Ooh. section, unless you guys <laughs> think we're... We're good. I mean, we've been on for 35 minutes. I'm sure we can we can talk about something else. Literally anything. So, like <laughs> Barry, what what are you looking forward to towards the next year of games? I mean, you stream oh. like every freaking day. It seems I, so, I stream four days a week. That's insane. That's over half the week. Yeah. I don't know. Like I was just. <laughs> You're asking me to look ahead. Like, I just was really excited because yesterday I played, um, I, earlier you're talking about uh, Shovel Knight, King of Cards, and, and Showdown. Yes. I've been looking forward to that for a long time. I was I watching King you play. Cards. It was awesome. It is kicking my ass, but I'm having a great time. <laughs> um, I don't know if it's harder or if just, like, I'm getting worse at games. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> also, whenever I stream anything, I am objectively worse at games. And I say this, mm -hmm. and my chat's like, uh-huh, uh-huh, mm -hmm. no, sure. No, no, that's, that's yeah. legit. That's how it works. That's it a thing. It makes me laugh as yeah. well, because I tend to watch your stream sometimes, and then uh, you, the, people will be, like, offering you hints and stuff, and you're like, no, no, don't worry. I'll get there. <laughs> I'll get there in my own time. Just leave You're me alone. You're not telling me anything I don't know. I just, yeah, my just... thumbs don't want that to happen right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm just um, trying. <laughs> so I was I was super excited for that. I, I'm excited to keep playing it. Also, I don't know if any of you guys have heard of uh, Frog Detective. Ah, uh, yes. I'm, Grace, I, I want to hear yeah. about this. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah. it, there's this game that came out last year called, uh, oh, I'm going to butcher the full title. It's uh, Frog Detective uh the episode one the haunted island or something like that came out last year um it is one of my favorite games i played it earlier this year i actually missed it when it came out and i was watching some like here's some indie games you should have uh been paying attention to lists uh and that popped up and i watched like 10 seconds of it and i was like i love the aesthetic i love the writing oh, and i played on stream and i fell in love with it and the sequel uh, just came out on Monday, and I, I played through that yesterday. Oh. So, Holy you're you're shit. asking me Already? like to look ahead, and I'm like, I'm I'm still riding on cloud nine. I was just like, everything <laughs> I've been waiting for just happened. I'm good. I'm just gonna coast on this for a little bit. I got nothing I'm looking forward to. Um, <laughs> but those games are, are are super delightful, and I highly recommend them. Um, there, I don't know. I mean, it's it's like December. I like a lot of people. I like to look back and be like, oh, so many good things happened this year. So many good games came out. Um, so many things I'm, I haven't I'm played. Not, yeah, I, I don't worry too much about like what's gonna happen next. It's like, man, I just my backlog is too big to worry about what's next. I'm like in <laughs> progress on 15 games. Oh god. So we'll see. But Matt, how know. do you respond to this year has been good for games? <laughs> <laughs> you disagree? No, no, I think it's been fine. I just look at this fine. Game Awards Max list and uh, <laughs> Game Awards list, and it's looking kind of kind of jank on here. I have I mean, not like, even looked at the nominees. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> I'm just, it's uh, the tab's already open. Oh no! Did, no. You, see, did <laughs> you see that Control won IGN Best Game of the Year? What? <laughs> what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I did not play that. <laughs> Matt did, <laughs> I and clearly he agrees. Him. It's not like, a bad game. It's not a bad game. That's not what I'm saying. It's yeah. not a bad did, game. Did you beat I it? Liked it? Yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. I don't have. I don't like to give opinions unless I beat it. And I beat it, and I thought it was <laughs> cool. <laughs> but uh, I, 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 <laughs> yeah, I'm not Liam. <laughs> but game of the year. I, I mean, can think outer of a wilds few contenders. Outer wilds exist. Mm -hmm. Outer wilds exist. And and oh, control. I don't know, man. I don't know if the story was that tight or anything, but I, it's better than Death Stranding getting Game of the Year. Because if Death Stranding get the Game of the Year, then I'm I'm throwing in a towel. I'm done. I'm not, <laughs> I, I'm I, what does really? That, I, I think Control I, won a couple of awards. It won like best art direction, best action adventure game, and then best game of the year. So I don't understand some people... why it would be bad if something that 
doesn't seem worth it gets it though because i feel like that means that the judges to some extent are expressively creating because there's something in the themselves. title best game mm -hmm. best game it's game, game there, there has to be the a year. game for for the year. it's weird it's just a weird game that i mean i don't care ultimately i don't care you know, it's it's whatever. It's whatever people choose. People have opinions, and they they choose control. That's fine. I just think there's a lot of good games out there. I mean, Barry, did you play Outer Wilds? Not Outer Worlds. Outer Wilds. Uh, yeah, not that other <laughs> I, one. I played I played both Worlds and Wilds for a stream's worth. And, okay. Uh, uh, oh God, now I'm gonna get the confused. Wilds, the one that's in space. Well, God, yeah. they're both no. in space. That, that, uh, that was, Wilds, <laughs> the one where you you pilot a spaceship like manually. You don't just click on a map. Okay, um, right. Wilds. That one I really want to go back to and finish. Uh, Outer Worlds. I've never gotten that into that kind of first-person Western RPG kind of game. Um, Fallout. I've never gotten really into the newer Fallout or the older Fallouts. Um, I don't think they're bad games. They just they've never oh. really grabbed me. I just yeah, I'm maybe I get overwhelmed and I'm like, there's just so many things I can do. And yeah, the one thing about I, Outer Worlds that showed to me is that that sort of game design now for Fallout stuff, it's kind of dated, kind of doesn't work anymore. Can't really get away with it. I get why people love it, and and I wish I loved it more. But I was just like, I'm good. I don't know. This is I good. Don't know what to say. So I, I just want to point out that the Game Awards Game of the Year is indeed just a Game of the Year. It's not a best game. Of the year. They're just they're just giving an award to something that is a Game of the Year in 2019. <laughs> just a Game of the Year. Yeah. Okay. Just, so maybe when you think of it in those terms, it'll be a little uh, less. Yeah. The, the stakes are lowered yeah. in that case. It'll, it'll stink it's less. It's very, very low stakes. Right. But right. Sekiro okay. came out this year. Yeah. Sekiro is great. I don't, it, Sekiro amazing. is great, I, but you have like a real hard on for that one. It's so good. <laughs> you it, do, it, you it, do it, tweet even, a lot of those hitbox porn stuff, man. Even in, in even in hindsight, in hindsight, seeing those tweets with that slow motion of the combat, I'm like, how did this even get made? Like, how do you make something so? Perfect in like it's tuning that when you play a game like Jedi Fallen Order, you're like. Fuck is this garbage? Ooh, like, oh, oh god, it's Sekiro's it, the type it, of game like, you admire from afar, though. It's like, oh, I, damn, that <laughs> boy or girl is real cute, but you're never gonna talk to him. You know, a lot of, a lot of <laughs> not gonna beat Sekiro. <laughs> many conversations on this podcast have have clued me into realizing that one of the things I really, really want. Or, or at least one of the things that really satisfies me about a game is some kind of creative self-expression, like like doing fun body language dances when you're a goose. I don't know if Sekiro has that that layer of me. No, I feel like I can know and appreciate a good Dark Souls clone when I see it, but for some reason that one didn't didn't hook it into me like the others do. Oh, I Sek Sekiro's got way into Sekiro. So people yes, in chat Barry. are solidarity, my friend. Are pointing <laughs> out that there are at least two big hits that are underrepresented in in the the VGA Game of the Year list. That's Ace Combat Seven and Pathologic Two, <gasps> both oh, of which I want to get to. Ace Combat yeah, Seven is Pathologic. it's sitting in my living room, over there in the I, other. I room. feel yeah, because I feel like Ace Combat, like you know, can you imagine a year where it's like. Game of the Year 2019, Ace Combat, Combat 7. It's no, never going to happen, gonna right? Happen. It's, 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 <laughs> it's, not gonna happen. it's certainly a Game of the Year. It's, yeah, yeah. It's, we, it's, we've been yeah. through this. It's, it's just Game of the Year, not... <laughs> yeah, a game. game that but... came out in 2019, Ace Combat 7. So mm -hmm. Pathologic 2 also came out, and I feel like in the world of weird Europeans player-hating, um, um, artsy suffering trials they also got to compete with with disco elysium so i don't know it's been a really good year i know that it's hard to think of one solid game of the year but i feel like that's because more niche tastes are represented by the lineups that we got this time it's uh i think it's been a really good year but also a really scary one with how 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 a lot of the industry kind of feels like it's put together by duct tape that the moment these <laughs> some of these games I don't know, this are, about I, duct tape there's a lot of there's a lot of games that came out this year that are i feel like we live in an age now where we get 
less games than we used to even though it does seem like we get a lot because we get a lot of garbage through steam and you know shovel ports onto the switch and stuff like that so it seems like new games are coming out all the time but we definitely have less like big releases like there's not like a death stranding until like three years later or something like that whereas yeah, back in the ps2 that. they'd be like here's the next final fantasy here's the next uh yeah. ridge racer here's the next out. like it was always on on and on like games coming out everywhere i'm gonna so sound the like problem, the old person but those were the days those were the days <laughs> but the thing is now i think the quality that is consistent is a lot more we see a lot more games that just generally come out and get like an, an eight or a nine or a ten like there's a lot more of like in january we had resident evil 2 you know, and then we had Sekiro in like May, and then it, it the year goes on, and you have these high points where wow, the consistency of like triple A and also double A and also indie is pretty good across the board. Whereas back in the day, you would just have like garbage come out all the time. Like you go into a new store, there's like 20 new PS2 games of like seriously big franchises, whether it's like Baldur's Gate or something like that. You'd have it like here's the new Baldur's Gate. It's a 3D action adventure game, and you'd play it, and you're like, this is garbage. Mm -hmm. But now there seems to be this very consistent line of like Fire Emblem came out. It's different, but it's still like an eight out of 10. You have something like Death Stranding comes out. Kojima's new game. It's a, in my opinion, like six, but it's an eight out of 10 from George or something like that. Right. Ooh. You know, it's, it, it seems like a consistent line. The, the uneasiness I'm feeling comes from how I think I, I definitely am all about triple eight games taking a backseat behind AA games for a little while and giving them the moment. But it seems very worrying to me that a lot of them aren't funded by great sales successes. Outer Wilds is one of everyone's favorite indie games of this year that reviewed extremely well. Matt loves it. We're going to be giving away codes for it. But it's, like, only available on an unpopular store on PC. And, uh... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like that's... That's a, that's a little bit of a, of a sign that things aren't as well as they could be. Um, that something like Death Stranding takes so much wrestling to have Kojima make a game that's not in the Metal Gear franchise requires him getting sacked from the studio and spending millions of dollars across multiple years going through that big ordeal and heartache just to make something that's not Metal Gear. Well, I'm sure he could have made a game with a small team and a small budget. He just chose not to. Apparently, Guillermo del Toro talked him out of that. Really? I'd really like to see what that would have looked like, though. I feel like I, I'm, that might have created a situation where he wouldn't have been so pigeonholed into writing Metal Gear dialogue for all these non-Metal Gear characters. What are you guys laughing at? <laughs> <laughs> what are you... Uh, no, no. <laughs> we, just, we were we were we forgot we were live and we were communicating with the, uh, mouthing into each other. How come you guys have all this like cross frame intimacy figured out? Because you on don't have your camera one. on Skype. We can't see you. I only see Matt. I only see Matt. I wish I could see both you and Barry, yeah. but I only see Matt. Yeah, man. So I'm just looking into Liam's eyes most of the time. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to turn on my webcam and just break the overlay. Yeah, yeah, please do. <laughs> just put Barry, like, behind us. Could we put, like, Barry's big... Actually, Hang on, yeah. You could Barry, totally do that. Barry, so we what, yeah. see Barry, what should I Google image search for? For, for, for my face? Yeah, anything. <laughs> anything just else anything. of you. Put his webcam on. Barry, just try Just put a picture of Kojima the back there or something. I don't know. <laughs> put, 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 uh, put Jeff Keighley as the... Um, the Doritos, the, 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 the Doritos Mountain Dew, sure. That, oh. That's a classic, right? <laughs> I, oh, that is a good one. That is a good one. Or I could find an embarrassing picture of Barry Kramer from a, from many, many years ago. I mean, good luck finding a non-embarrassing picture of me. Oh. <laughs> That's the challenge. <laughs> find just like a normal selfie of me just being like, I had a good day. They're there. Yeah, Every actually, now and then. You, you have a first like solid... Two rows. There's some goofy poses and some normal poses. He, at least he has a Google image. So. You know what's impressive? I just did a <laughs> search for myself. It's the third row before you get someone who's not me with that name. Mm -hmm. That is. That's it's because you're the one and only Barry. Well, that is very it's because not true. You're, you're on the game grumps. <laughs> I wonder if um, it still thinks my age. Yeah, no. If you search Bray Kramer age, it says 77 years because there's a. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> as it wow. should. There's, I think he's a senator. You're really good for your age, man. Yeah, yeah. you look you look dandy. A real uh, more like a grandpa than a dad. But yeah, there's some other Barry Kramer who was a basketball player, retired jurist, and attorney. So his stuff and my stuff gets weirdly intermingled, and then sometimes it's his info with my picture. It seems to have been fixed. <laughs> it's just, we should say I mean, like, it's literally just all Google algorithms. It's not like, uh, dear Google, I would like to report a bug. It's just like it is what it is. It's funny. It's funny because we should say it was Barry's birthday the other day. So happy belated oh, birthday, Barry! Happy birthday, man! Thanks. Last week I turned thirty, which means I'm not allowed to have fun anymore. Not on your yep. parents' insurance anymore. Barry, when did you have fun anyway? Exactly. <laughs> now you know my struggle. <laughs> Thanks, chat. <laughs> the chat's really say happy birthday goodness. to Barry. Uh, I turned you. thirty in June, man. So. I turn thirty in July. Birthday. I turn thirty next July, so I'm I'm slowly next catching July. up. Are you all nineteen ninety babies? Nineteen ninety baby. I don't uh, know what age I am. Eighty nine. <laughs> George is like forty eight, I think. So Bojack is fifty, right? I still have some time. For yeah, him that bad. <laughs> a couple of years, two or three years. Oh, you're two definitely years. a Bojack. Yeah, I mean, that's sometimes fair, you seem older than Bojack. Fair comparison. George is Nintendo 64. <laughs> Wait, are you going to start dyeing your hair like Bojack when you're 50? Jesus Christ, guys. I don't know, and I'm getting scary thinking about it. Um, New topic. What was... Uh, <laughs> how, how can you tell someone's age by, uh, let's say, the first game console? They... I think, well, it's a muddle, right? Because from 1990 onwards, it's like, well, you could have had the Genesis, the Super Nintendo, or the 3DO, <laughs> or the <laughs> Nintendo 64, or the Sega Saturn. Oh. That it's kid like, with hmm. the 3DO, though. <laughs> it's like, my only console was the CDI. Those kids so, have Amiga ooh, computers. I'm so sorry. Good. I mean, I, I don't know. There's there's not a whole lot you can glean from that, because, like, I grew up in the early 90s, but I had a friend whose main console was the Atari 2600, because his dad bought one forever ago. Um, and to this day, I, I know I, kids that are like, oh, I grew up with, like, a Game Boy, even can though I, I felt that. Can I hijack this exact talk and solve... A work problem I'm having. Um, I'm going to yes. hijack this because well, it's related. Um, okay. okay. So I'm having an argument at work. I got somebody fired for this. What? Wait. Wait. Whoa. So, <laughs> so. You know this is what live, is, right? What is, what is better? <laughs> what is one of your console? NDA cuts. You're, you're saying better? this on top of Barry's what, beard. What, what is a better console nice. in reflection? Oh, the I Nintendo saw Nintendo 64 mm. or the Dreamcast. Uh, oh god, that Nintendo hurts. 64. Yes, Barry. Okay, we got one, Matt. Well, well every game <laughs> we're playing on the Dreamcast has been ported. Yeah, exactly right. So, so it's Barry, less relevant. Yeah, I, I love the Dreamcast, but it would have to be N64. Oh, okay, so that's two. That's three. Is, and and George, go for the, the the full three. I'm not ready to pick a side in this one. Ah, oh, <laughs> you. I'm sorry, but <laughs> there are hostages at play. All those FPS and fighting games that don't cross over well to either platform. Like, the N64 has great FPS games, but it's not like you can play your, your Turok series on the Dreamcast. The Dreamcast has great ports of, of, of Quake 3 and Unreal Tournament, but that sure as hell not going to work on the it N64. Had Banjo-Kazooie, Ocarina of Time, it's Super Mario 64, Jorah. Snowboard Kids, 1080, <clears throat> Mischief Makers, GoldenEye, Donkey Kong, Diddy Kong. The lit, Major is Mass, the list is... But, it, it, I mean, it, you had the to, Dreamcast was was a bit ahead of its time in certain areas. Like It, they, it was they also the online. generation after. It was the generation right. after the 64. So, so like, there's things we're celebrating about it. I'm just saying, like... Yeah. I think in hindsight. both at the time and in modern context, I, I got to give it 1064. I, I wonder if you were... I, I knew I loved you for a reason, Barry. Okay, Liam, you're, you're an expert <laughs> in, in survivalism, right? If you were stuck on a desert <laughs> island with one of these two consoles and only had eight games of their library to choose, I feel like you might actually, if you play your cards right, get some better mileage out of a Dreamcast with, like, Dio uh, 2, Soul shit, Calibur... I, I... I might agree with you. <laughs> it it really <laughs> depends. They both have they they're both problematic consoles with inconsistent libraries, and that makes yeah. it very hard for me to choose. I might actually, I might actually agree with you on that. 
I do you have some phone calls to make? Oh shit. Well, actually the guy I got fired is uh Mark and he's in the chat now. Mark, you're still fired. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, in hindsight, Power Stone playing that over and over again. Oh my god. And uh, I'm every Zelda. single item. Oh, yeah, it's, cool. it's so oh. cool in retrospect that they did the internet so, so far good. ahead of everyone else. But would that Jet really radio be useful on a deserted Stone island? World. Yeah, right. I mean, N64 as a like a, a console that has a lot of games, I think is pretty great for the memories and also just the general quality of most of the games that came out on it. But if I only had eight and I had to play them forever, I, I do think that does change the. It does change yeah, the yeah, game a little. Diddy Kong Racing, come on, man. I know the N64 has has great adventures. The Dreamcast has great, like endlessly playable multiplayer game. It does, but then again, you're on the island with nobody else but oh, yourself. Oh God! So what do you want? Endless replay? So it's no or different to your normal life. And if you yeah. want a lot of like oh, fighting oh, games in mm. the Dreamcast, even though you might break your hands on that that damn controller, the brick <laughs> playing fighting games on it. <laughs> but, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your thumb will be all control. jacked up. The, the only controller smash. I know of that has the power cord coming out of the bottom of the controller. <laughs> so you're always bending it just by holding it. Oh, it had like that, that little, that little, that little, um, that indent to put the, the you know, the little the wire in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, I, at the yep. bottom. But well, you have to wrap it around yeah, and yeah. then put it through the top anyway. It's like yeah. you just mm -hmm. put it in the top. Like, why? My Dreamcast wouldn't sh <laughs> close all the way without pressing down on the disc. It eventually got warped to a part where it's pinching it. So I had to delicately lay a pile of socks on top of the machine every time I wanted <laughs> to play it, so that it would close the disc tray just enough to start spinning the disc and get going, but not enough to where it actually clicked the mechanism. <laughs> oh man well i i think technically we won this battle and it was a well-deserved firing <laughs> <laughs> i, I want to know what games have you played this year that would you think you know it's not on these lists here on the game awards like I sure anything that comes to I mind tons that of stuff that's not on that list Are you kidding yeah. me yeah like a, a plague ice. tale i don't think that's on the list that's a really good game oh yeah you really liked that didn't you yeah i really liked that that was a really good game a uh, short hike is the best game i played a plague that tale is, is actually mm. on there it is good good well like one spot right like one little narrative that's, that's barry, narrative. barry did did you play a short hike i did and i enjoyed it yeah i think that game. that's one of the best games i played this year that isn't gonna be flouted yeah well i so i actually have <laughs> i have this weird advantage where because i stream almost every game that i'm interested in i can just mm. look at my vod archive channel and just be like oh yeah. yeah these are all games that came out this year and i don't only yeah. play stuff that came out this year i play a lot of older stuff too but i'm like oh yeah uh i played manifold garden and it made me super barfy but i thought it was really neat um uh Oh man, uh, Ukulele in the Impossible Layer. Had a great time with that. Link's Awakening. I wish the Crane game didn't exist, but that, I mean that's obviously on the list. I mean, um, Shenmue Three was actually good. What? Uh, later Alligator was delightful. I don't know if that's up for any awards. Um, Kingdom Hearts Three was it. obviously Game of the Year, uh, so that should be. Uh, <laughs> I mean, oh, yeah, that's, on top. Top. that's what we had you on for, wasn't it? That, yeah, that literally was, made was very it, famous. Was that this year? That yes, was really it scary. was. This has and been you were, a very long year. You the video. <laughs> this oh. has been a long year. It's um, long have any of you guys? Year. Did any of you guys play or hear of Later Alligator? No. I saw some videos of it. I did. I write all these games down. I didn't play it. So it's it's animated by the creators of Batman Spider Man. Oh, which it, so it, like okay. Stick <laughs> if you haven't seen Batman Spider Man, oh yeah, it's it, the animation's super charming. You are um, you're basically hired by this alligator in Alligator New York City, which is the name of the city, <laughs> uh, and it's his birthday, and he thinks that there's a, a conspiracy, um, and you have to like talk to people in the town and do these little mini games and stuff. It's delightful um Aww. really enjoyed it um i learned that like wholesome games is a big part of my aesthetic where it's just like oh things are just kind of nice and there's jokes yeah, yeah i'm definitely enjoying that kind of Absolutely. like wonder song and 
a short mm-hmm. hike or yep. some of my favorites in recent memory of yep. like, man, I just want to be here. I want to be oh, in this world. Like, wanna... In so, between the the like Securos and King of Cards, just like having a break. Be nice. yeah. able to to exercise out in the open while playing Goose Game in front of other people is a very refreshing feeling. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know if you've heard Barry, but I've devised a contraption with a treadmill downstairs where I will prop a Nintendo Switch up on the treadmill and run along with it, holding the Joy-Cons on either either side. And uh, oh my god, it's, it's have taken... you tried that with um, with Ring Fit Adventure? No, not with Ring Fit Adventure. Tetris works well. Hollow Knight works surprisingly well. Um, Tetris ninety nine. Tetris, no, I don't know about Tetris 99 because I couldn't hook up to Wi-Fi on the treadmill. But uh, uh. the weirdest treadmill gaming experience was definitely Deadly Premonition, where oh. I'm like in a gym with other people and this incredibly weird to look at game has has a comically obese character turn into a giant rolling ball boss while, while sexualized women in dresses are, are on the sidelines getting stabbed. That oh. sounds nuts. Yeah, Goose Game Oof. is a nice break from all that. Goose Game is real nice. <laughs> yeah. I, I love cute, um, happy things in games, and there aren't enough of them, and games always do them so well. If you want a game that's uh, cute but becomes insanely stressful, check out Wilmo's Warehouse. You it's another one that Oh, games. right, yeah. That was yeah. that was cool. I played I played that. It's a it's a game where you are given items and you have to store them in a warehouse, and then there's customers that show up and it's timed, and it's like, okay, you need to grab all these things. So the game is like two phases, one where you're getting in truckloads of stuff, and you have to come up with your own in, like inventory management system. Mm-hmm. Um, and it has this very minimalist aesthetic. It's very, very cute. And then you're just like panicked, sprinting back and forth. You unlock like different abilities, like you can dash, and, and you can open up parts of the warehouse so you have more room to store the never-ending deluge of stuff that comes in. Um, so it starts out super cute and wholesome, and then after a couple hours, you're like, oh my god, I have this section over here, which I'm categorizing by these abstract shapes, and this is like all yellow things over here, and then people are rushing in trying to order things. It's it's a really weird uh, <laughs> curve to it. Um, I played Heave Ho. I had a lot of fun with Heave Ho, um, which is multiplayer, like a multiplayer right? game. Yeah, multi- I, was say, I mean, there yeah. is a single player, but it's it's definitely more multiplayer. Yeah, it's really bad. I gotta ask, oh my god, it's for the stream, isn't it? Like, there's gotta be a reason you're playing through so many games, right? Oh, well, definitely, because I stream a lot, I'm constantly looking for, like, what's something that is exciting and I, I want to check out. But also, like, there's, there's, there's I follow a so lot many. of people. Yeah, well, I follow a lot of people on, on Twitter, and so I'm constantly seeing, like, oh, here's, like, a game that looks interesting and I put on my radar. But yeah, I have an excuse that... to play all these games rather than, like, if I didn't do this as essentially my job, I probably would play a fraction of the games that I actually yeah, do. Yeah, it sucks as well because, like, especially when you follow a lot of, like, developers and stuff, you're like, ah, oh, a friend released a game, and you're like, ah, oh, I, I want to help, I want to play, but there's mm-hmm. only so much time in the yeah, world. Yeah, but I have, I have like, 20-plus hours a week that are just dedicated <laughs> to me playing games, so it's great. I played yeah, a lot somebody, of shit. Somebody mentioned in the chat Anodyne 2. I played Anodyne 2 as well. That was a great game. Nitro mm-hmm. Rad was recommending that. That was a great game too. There's so many. There was a lot of good Devolver stuff. Devolver could just you... release a blank launcher. Did you play <laughs> Bootleg Devolver? They made bootleg versions of their own games. It was Devolver Bootleg, oh, what it was called. George, didn't you like play that? Uh, yeah, I also played the bootleg the game launcher that your game was in. Um, the Rami Ismail Reflections. No oh, right, yeah. yeah did you uh, make a game for reflections? Uh, meditations. Hmm. Yes, oh, I yeah, did. Meditations. meditations. My bad. My bad. I did. Yeah, came out two weeks what? ago. Yeah, I missed it. No. Oh, it's okay. I, 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 I kept up with it for like the first week of January. And so I did everybody. <laughs> I know. I know. There's this is there's this amazing tweet thread of like a, a, a Twitter dedicated to the games that come out for meditations. Yep. And so many are like on November first, and it has like a great tweet of the game, and then the next tweet will be November second. It'll be like, the launcher did not work today. <laughs> oh. Like, oh, okay, right. No, mine was uh, November 29th, I think, last month, and uh, it was a game about earthquakes in Japan. And the idea is that you uh, 
you're like, there's this character typing in a room, and then all of a sudden an earthquake goes off, and like an object in the room starts falling, and then you just have to like type the name of the word, uh, uh, type the name of the object, and then you catch it, and then you keep doing that, and the timer gets faster and faster. There was I a couple it was of stipulations. It's it's, mo it's not meant to be peaceful. What it's meant to be is more of a message about your real life. So it's weird because oh. some of the rules were like, it has to be made in a day. And then I looked at some other projects and I was like, that definitely didn't take a day. That took like <laughs> fucking six weeks, but all right. <laughs> right. Um, it, ha it had to be done in a day. It had to be no longer than five minutes. It right. has to like close itself after five minutes. Uh, the third was uh, you cannot explain to the player what to do they just have to like figure it out and yeah. so it has to be immediately communicative to the the player and then the fourth was uh it has, just has to be a message about something that is related to you you can't you know make something up like i think that the children in africa are starving we should you can't do something like yeah. that yeah i think the this idea is, is that it can be a bit abstract but it should be something that's like personally relevant to yourself in some way yeah so I, wrote, I, I just made it about earthquakes in Japan because it was something I'd never experienced before <laughs> living in the UK. So I was like, well, this is interesting. <laughs> yeah, I was well, I was chilling. I was thinking, oh, this is going to be like a meditation game. OK, this <laughs> I, I knew nothing about it. I just you well, know, yeah, installed if, it. And then if, uh, an object fell and then I had to type in, you know, <laughs> the freaking name. Like, oh, computer. Oh, not the type in computer. And if you mess up, it breaks. Breaks. You know? Yeah, <laughs> it breaks. And it just keeps going for five minutes. And, and I'm like, five no, minutes, Liam, it just gets what faster the hell? Faster. I, I like how you, you programmed in a little diving to save the, the falling object animation. So yeah, the yeah, window like, on the wall, which counts as a, as a broken object, has still has your character dive through the air to catch a piece a of window. the window. It's just, it's, I don't know if that joke was intentional or not, but it works oh, really it was well. I was cutting as many corners as I possibly could when I made it, but... Um, <laughs> It's, it was super interesting to see people play it because the fact is, like, I made it, like, a year ago, and then I forgot all about it. I, like, mm -hmm. November 29th came, and it was like, today's meditation, Liam BME, like, this. And I was like, oh, oh, shit, snap, <laughs> yeah, I made that. <laughs> and then you guys played it, and I was like, oh, this is cool. And, Matt, you were like, oh, this is so stressful. I was like, yes, that's exactly what I was going <laughs> <Yes>. for. <laughs> Being an earthquake so... is stressful. In the, in the cutthroat neck-and-neck -neck competition between the various PC gaming launchers, Steam and the Epic Games launcher and Origin, where in that market does meditations? Oh, it, it's, it doesn't. It's just it's, a... It's a free launcher. So I don't I don't know if you really explain what it is for people that might not know, but it's, it's basically a launcher you download, it's free, and every day there's a different game by a different developer. Uh, yeah, and you're yeah. meant to play it for like five minutes and then go on with the rest of your day. And just every day mm. there's a new game. Um, so it's I don't think it's really the same because there's no store. There's no way to spend money. I think there might be links to people's Twitters or whatever. But yeah, that's so just who, to be like, who, here's who made this. Yeah. So, so whoever's day it is, what they will appear on the launcher on the front and be like, today's the game of the day is this. And it'll be like. I'll have an explanation as to what it is, and that's it. And mm -hmm. you can't see anything else. You can't see the schedule. You don't know what's coming. You just download it, and it batch files all of the games. And then you do that every month. It updates with that 30 days worth of games, and then every day it unlocks on a timer. It's, mm -hmm. It was an interesting experiment that Rami set up. So I was like, let's do it. When mm -hmm. somebody's actually made a game for it, yeah. So that was the thing. I, I Mine had an issue where if you didn't run... Uh, as an administrator, it wouldn't boot up the Game Maker install exe. So you you download the launcher and then you downloaded it from the launcher. But then in that was the install file for the game. And the fact that you had an install file in an install file, <laughs> Windows is like, mm, I don't hmm. like this. But once you I mean, ran it as an administrator, it worked. So that was good. It Think about how messy like debugging is for a single release, and then multiply oh. that by three hundred and sixty-five. Yeah, so. it's it's insane, and it's like nobody will ever play that game again. Now it's like that's it. it was Not until next year. It's it's oh so yes, cool that that people are able to do little art projects like this, and even then, like the ugly problems of just video game cumbersomeness from the technology of it is so real ugly head when 
Even when you try to be simple and. and... <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, games. Video games. Real quick, I wanted to just I wanted to just shout out a couple other indie games that I <laughs> oh, apparently played more? this year. Oh, this is the platform. Oh boy, there's many, but just like games, I think like if people didn't check out, um, Dicey Dungeons is oh, fabulous. Yes, and the soundtrack is incredible. Good dungeon um, games this year. There's there's AI on Dungeons too. Oh yeah, AI, AI Dungeon Two is uh, I, when I got it working because it was getting swamped. It was uh very strange. Um, also, uh, Cadence of Hyrule. Mm -hmm. I had a really, yes. really good time with one of my favorites. Also, an incredible soundtrack. Uh, I don't think that's up for a lot of awards, even though I mean, maybe like soundtrack no, or music the design. The first but... ever like Nintendo officially sanctioned indie game. Weird. No, it's uh, it's, it's not up for audio music. design. Is it underscore music? Control left for cadence, and it's underscore and music. Okay, that's like the bare minimum of what it should be nominated for. But I'm yeah. just saying, like. It's not a game that I'm seeing a lot of people be like, that is like one of my favorite games of the year, even though it was it really, really solid. It really was. Yeah. It was a really, was really, really good fun. time. Multiplayer, that was so much fun. I really enjoyed it. Mm hmm. Uh, Danny B's wow. soundtrack is excellent as well. Yeah. Oh my God. It's amazing. Uh, Theme World Quest also. Um, oh, yeah, I like all the card World games. games didn't they? I'm not as into card game RPGs like it, but I had a good time with it. And. I don't know if a lot of people talked about it even when it came out, but um, that developed. It's weird because really, those really games don't. They, the SteamWorld games don't get talked about too much, but they sell like a lot. Like, I imagine they do. They're they very sell polished. They, they kind of give me like a. They're they're definitely it's a European dev and it, it has kind of like a European sensibility about it. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed those. Um, Risk of Rain two had a good time with, and that's still being updated and stuff. So I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of stuff that has come out um yeah you you are the expert evidently apparently i mean again it's like i don't remember like once i see it i'm like oh yeah now i remember but it's like i could just scroll down and just be like what games did I indivisible play? finally came out as well indivisible i, I want to go back and finish Matt that played indivisible that. yeah yeah he loved it not as into matt, it matt didn't like it <laughs> it's not a it, it was it's not bad it's just yeah it, it, just, it was yeah. a little, yeah, it was just like a little, uh, you know, a little kitty, I guess. Like the story oh, yeah. is not enough to get you going. And the combat, the combat's fun, I guess, you know? Mm -hmm. Other than that, I, just, I don't, nothing really grabbed me from it. I was just like, I don't know if I want to, I don't know if I want to finish this. What did you like? <laughs> did you like it, Barry? I, so I, I need to finish it. It's one of the 50 million games on my, oh, that's the problem with play? playing this many games. I, I did uh like five for six hours of it. Um, oh my god! Okay, way more than me. So you yeah, you got and, in. Well, so that I usually stream for about five to six hours on average. Um, mm. and oh, most so you just did it for like one stream. Yeah, and so and then I didn't continue playing it on stream, but it's like I want to go back because I wasn't like blown away. I thought it was neat that each party member was mapped to a different face button. Right. Um. And that a lot of combat just turns into like mashing all the buttons on your controller to right. get up and doing things while they're not on Which cooldown. Which kind of doesn't work for like boss battles and stuff. You have to yeah, when, think well, back, as soon as it think, requires yeah. you to be more tactical, it's like the game hasn't required me think that much about it. <laughs> yeah. And now all of a sudden I have to be deliberate. Um, but the, the, the art was amazing and the animated yes. cutscenes were gorgeous. The opening cutscene yeah. was animated by Trigger. Um, yeah, it was, yeah. And they did Shantae as well. Damn. Yeah. Shantae. Yeah, they're doing Shantae. Shantae came out as well on Apple Arcade. Not a great port, but it still came out and stuff. <laughs> uh, Bloodstained not... came out. Yeah. Bloodstained. I did not touch Apple Arcade at all. Grindstone, of... that was great. Wait, There's a lot of games on Apple Arcade that look neat. Oh. But I'm just like, I don't know if I want to have another monthly subscription to something. Yeah. Yeah. We already have so many, right? We uh, we all added actually, Disney Plus to it recently. <laughs> <laughs> Not in Japan because we didn't get it. <laughs> so so speaking of of things that that might be too voluminous because 
You might not be able to finish them if you actually bother to go all the way through it. We oh God. would never be able to finish this podcast if we went through all the good little indie games that came out this year. Yeah, sorry. I'm done. I'm done. I just, there were a couple <laughs> that were jumping out at me. Yo, but, like, yeah. the, the, the... I'm off my soapbox. The statement has been made. I, I don't think there's a lot of disappointment feel about the lineups this year. I... God, I have such bad memories of 2009, and it's been a long time since things have been that bad, but I just mm -hmm. still worry that they might eventually. <laughs> Anyways, we're, we could only it's, know it's that. It's pretty good. I mean, it's not It's not like when you're like, ah, oh, yes, I'm really looking forward to Assassin's Creed 19 this year. <laughs> when, yeah, the, the, the 2009, 2010, towards the end of the previous generation was like, man, we're really struggling. We're, we're really going through the mm -hmm. notions here. Yeah. Whatever All the same stuff. Year Bulletstorm came out and made the case that it was being creative and punk rock and cool, despite really looking like the stuff it was trying to ape. I feel like that was that. That's that's the 2009 jank that that I remember. Well, you're happy to leave behind a decade later. Speaking of leaving things behind later than scheduled, oh. we gotta take a break and move on to our next segments. We do. Thank you very much right. for uh, showing up, Barry. I, 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 yes. Thank Thanks. you, Barry. Thanks for having me a second time. Thank, Thank you. you so Congrats much. Congrats on a hundred episodes. Hundred oh episodes. How did we and make nobody it? Nobody knows. Yeah. Nobody knows at the end we're going to announce that the show has ended because we're being. Are you going to announce who's the dad? <gasps> oh, oh god okay no hang no. on i can actually <laughs> oh, no, get us out of this is. real quickly there we go and we're transitioning Daddy. to the song <laughs> <laughs> all right i am thank going... you barry thank you so much buddy yeah for thanks sure, sorry i just I gotta go through your bots <laughs> no, no dude i gotta go through you. your bots so and play a bunch I... of them yeah no I started doing monthly oh. highlights because it's too much. God, this is a train wreck. The the count the, the video has changed. <laughs> what happened? Is it, is it us? Is yeah. it just us still live? <laughs> we are. We we have to have a break now. We have to go. Uh, oh oh oh! That we have to you have to mute us is what you're saying. Wait what? <laughs> he muted. I don't. He muted himself. To, wait no! God, I, I muted myself instead of you guys. There's literally a countdown video no, no, playing. But, 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 I don't know. But, Every time but, I hit play, bye, I just keep watching the same Coke ad. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> bye, Barry. Thank you. Bye, Barry. Thanks, bye. <laughs> bye. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I've unmuted myself. <laughs> Wait, how can you do that? I am also unmuted now. <laughs> All right, I'll go on the break. Bye-bye. Oh, uh, hello. Uh, hey. There there I am. Okay, so Matt and Liam are uh, real smart, funny, <laughs> cool, happy people who <laughs> muted themselves and, and, like, toggled it on and off back and forth during the break because they're just, um, <laughs> ah, they're, they're, they're lovely people. Wait, Hello. No, what? What? Are you, this is this is slander. What are you talking about? What? It's not slander. It's sausage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh God. the dad joke. Sorry. <laughs> Damn. Oh Damn. my God, man! And this time we got like music to to punch our our lines and stuff. This is this is interesting. There was no cooing. There was no plot. There was no coup. What are you talking about? Um, yeah, I don't know what what you guys were plotting, but when I got back from from the bathroom, I just heard fire George. <laughs> under 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 the auspices that I'm I'm facing more scrutiny than usual, I'm gonna go ahead and rope us in to this news talk. We'll get uh, Nitro Rad to pick things up a little bit later, but. In the beginning, I mean, does uh, any of this stuff catch our attention? I, I know, Matt, you like VR games, and Boneworks looks like a good VR game. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of words would that... Well, it's not wrong. I I don't know. Wait, is that news? Oh, look, there's a really cool game that breaks, you know, the, the stereotype of 
garbage VR games. It's actually a really good one with good physics. Go get Boneworks. Yeah, it's Boneworks made by the guy great. who used to make videos with dub, uh, Freddie Freddy Wong. Wong. Yeah, I saw like, a, I saw that's... the promotional video and I was like, wait, that's that's the the guy, Brandon. the guy. Yeah, yeah, he's doing VR games now, and not only VR games, but that VR game. It's progressed quite uh, quite well. I mean, he's been working on it for years now, and it looks it looks nice. It definitely looks nice and corny, a little bit corny in that trailer, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Basics look nice. It looks like um, what Half Life is gonna be. Basically, all, all of that corniness. Like you guys saw the scene where apparently he's like slinging two people with a gravity gun who are clawing at each other in the air. Yeah. There's there's a lot of comedy in this trailer. I like I like what a what a portal attitude it has to the the limits of conventional game design and how how we can make fun of them through creative gameplay. Also, <laughs> it looks fun. Like, look at all these, it does these look like you can segments. do some. Well, it's physics, right? Like VR physics, still not quite there, right? So now this game's come out where you can literally do most things. So it's kind of intriguing. <laughs> yeah. I want to go back and re-edit every game trailer that ever said In this game you can do literally anything. To just say. Most things. Yeah. <laughs> you can pick up a, a box. Yeah. And yeah. physics. Open it apart and shake the contents out and use it to hide from cameras by putting it over your head. I I was reading some testimonials of how gameplay works. You can you can do the Metal Gear Solid box trick in a like less scripted, improvisational, emergent gameplay way. Cool that is shit. so funny because can't the only wait. person I know who's playing this game, a friend of mine, bought his first VR headset to oh. play this game. He bought the 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 Rift Two or Rift, yeah, Rift Two. Uh, no, was it, was it called S uh, S Rift S, right? Yeah. And he was like, "I'm sold on Boneworks," and I was like, "Oh, why?" And he's like, "Because I could go look at a box, open the box with my hands, and then put it yeah. on my head and get inside, and then sneak around like I was a solid snake." I was like, "Oh, well, there you go. I guess yeah. <laughs> sold." And there's some Box. speculation that Boneworks takes place in the Half-Life universe. There's also a lot of uh, promotion right now about how the Half-Life 2 VR modding scene is going. I'm watching a trailer that looks incredible that I'm going to post in um, Twitch chat and in our Skype chat over here. But they have hands working in Half-Life 2 now. It looks like the modders have figured out how to have um, floating hands carry carry your guns around and open doors. And I mean, I guess you would just T-pose the model and then put <laughs> new hands in. Like, essentially, you'd make sure you can't move Freeman and then just put some virtual hands in front of him and have that as the control. <laughs> the news is that Half-Life VR games are in the news, and that's basically all this chunk of news. T-Rex. Um, Bioshock is getting a next-gen sequel in the works by a new 2K team. Cloud Chamber is being formed for the occasion. They, um, are, are, are getting some established talent from the previous games to work on it. There's a daily bit, but not any trailer or teaser. Uh, Bioshock apparently still is going to exist in the next generation. That's, that's news, right? I, I, don't, I don't know if it's like good news or bad news. I think it's kind of redundant, but I mean, it's made by a new studio with some people who worked on Bioshock. I don't think it's really until we see the game. I don't really think it's news all that important. I mean, Bioshock makes money. Why would anybody think it was never going to come back? Uh, because it's the game about the evils of making too much money. <laughs> it's 2k i think that rule does not apply <laughs> i love um like like the tim rogers reviewing logic that every game should at least be as complicated as bioshock when it's trying to tell a story about about complicated themes and whatnot and and i don't know bioshock is a tragedy bioshock is did you guys like infinite what happened there i 
I, I'm wondering why mm. everyone else liked it so much more than the rest of us, because I don't... But it was weird, because everybody liked it, and then nobody liked it. It, it took it, a couple it, years, and it completely reversed in, in terms of... Super weird. I mean, I didn't mind it. I played it, and I was like, well, it's not as good as Bioshock 1, but it's definitely better than Bioshock 2. But it seems like the internet the... is like, well... This is a pretentious piece of shit. Fuck yeah, it. yeah, it's the pretension of it. That's the thing. Like, Bioshock started out as a game about objectivism gone wrong because of evil rich people getting away with whatever. And the fact that that they're letting evil rich people get away with whatever and, and funneling that money into Bioshock sequences is a little on... I think that Twister Infinite is still better than Death Stranding Story. Oh, You didn't have to bring Death Stranding into it. <laughs> i do think that though i'm not being facetious i do think that's I, actually better i mean so I'll, on to a the lot next of things topic. Are... <laughs> uh, Matt, I, I i expect that you have some sort of emotional response to the next piece of news and that's Redbox is no longer running video oh, games. Oh, look at his face turn. <laughs> oh, man, I'm so sorry, I use sorry, this more buddy. than you. You told me about Redbox, and I started doing it, and then it became, like, my source for PS4 games. Now it's gone. I literally won't play as much PS4 games now because Redbox is gone. What am I, going to pay $60 for games now? No, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I do that? Ball one out, ball one out, fellas. Oh no, I don't want to. I don't want to ball like because I. I swear, like I. I if I use Redbox, I that means I spend three days on this game, and that's it. I'm done. Sixty dollars for I guess three days of entertainment. I don't know. I don't know if I'm okay with that. <laughs> and some of these games are like ten hours long. Yeah. Is that is that. Yeah. You're, Is that okay? You're, you're absolutely correct. And the rental market used to create viable places where games like that could succeed. Like, all of the com the, the copies of Resident Evil 2, they didn't sell because the game was eight hours long in 1998. Millions of those copies got sold to Blockbuster. Bed and it, I feel like things still balance themselves out in a fair way that allowed mid-budget, short-length, double-A games to really be the norm back in those days because so forgive me if i'm wrong here but is digital renting a thing no i don't maybe like with movies on amazon you can do that but i don't know about no but like games. like with games like how viable do you think digital renting would be you pay like five bucks and you can rent a game and play all of it if you wish in three days let's say i mean I guess piracy uh, might be a problem. I mean, piracy. Xbox Game Pass is different in the sense that you actually get the game as long as you have the subscription, but renting a, any game you wish based on, you know, just you want to play that game specifically, brand new game. I don't know I if subscription do service is the same thing, but... But it's comparable, I feel, because I've felt it's so much weirder. Like, if I bought Gears of War 5 tried the single player and didn't like it i would have felt a sting but since it was part of the game pass it's like a non-issue that i liked one half of the package of the product it it makes makes so much lower that you're not caring as much about problem and that's something i feel that games need like short length double a games that are 10 hour long campaigns they, they i mean need a place like that to, and I they get... don't need that much pressure for a regular person who plays games, you know, at a decent rate, other than me, where I play games and we talk on a podcast, where so I have to play games a lot more. It's yeah. like sixty dollars, sixty dollars, sixty dollars. It's just that's that's just ridiculous. It's expensive, yeah. That's like expensive. recently, Death Stranding, Outer Worlds, Pokemon, yeah. Uh, you know, all these big games coming out, and it's like <laughs> you spend sixty dollars on Pokemon. You're like, oh. We need to we need to talk about this shit, but you know it's like, fuck. Is yeah. Cool. Jedi? Are I bought Jedi. Whoa, Jesus! We, we got a good <laughs> We got a good question from the chat. Is the game rental market in Japan still going strong? Wait, it's no, illegal. that's right. It never did go strong. 
Japan has physical used game sales going strong, but not rental, yeah, 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 right? yeah. But you can't yeah. rent games. You can't rent games in Japan. You can only rent movies and CDs. You can't rent games. It's illegal for some weird reason. That's why when you go to bars and they were renting it, like the re reason George made that video was uh, because a lot of bars were renting games out to customers and that is illegal. It counts as, as a display of a copyrighted performance. Something along. Some um, garbage. You know why they're pulling out, George? Uh, <laughs> the they... sausage? Yes. Um, Redbox. You know why they're pulling out? Yeah, because they're, they're selling the games. I know that. I was reading it, but I don't remember if why they're pulling out of the video game market. They didn't cite a specific reason from the company, but the way things have been going, it's it's in here. Uh, theft has always been historically a problem. Um, sales figures for retail have been historically going down as long as the internet catching up with it. I... There, there's a lot. There's, I'm sure it's not any one particular thing, but you've mm. seen you've seen the theft before, right? Like you've you've gotten a, a sleeve out and you find a paper printout of the disc inside. Wait, um, no. Hmm. I got one of those. No, they they can't check it. I thought they would have a way to check it. That's I, dumb. Why would they? They're supposed to, but I guess they can't be there twenty four. Clean the machines out. Wait. Um, no, I, I can't believe they were actual. Make sure physical machines yeah what even in japan they... that seems archaic to me no how i was about to say i love the red box machines i'd so much rather press a button on a box the, the japanese model of pressing a button on a box to not talk with human beings is such a good one man i we don't have crime that's why it exists hmm. i, I want to point something out this is totally off topic um chat do you think behind Liam, you could kind of see, I can see a little bit more on my screen, right to the right of him, do you think that is looking into his kitchen or that's a mirror? <laughs> because <laughs> ah, uh -huh. I, I was like, okay, there's a door there, but I didn't really realize it until now. There's a no. mirror. Oh, you're, you're trying to move it, George? What are you doing? <laughs> no, I was, yeah, I was, right I was there. Some That's context. a mirror oh, there. Sure, sure. All right. So There's a everybody, everybody's always wondered how big a Japanese apartment is. Well, everything you see in frame is my apartment. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, all it's right, literally let's, all let's, there. <laughs> let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Here. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, the bed is in the reflection. That's the bat. That's the bath. That's the bathroom. No, that's the kitchen. <laughs> is the door? He can't hear me. This is the grand tour. The whole thing. It's the grand tour. Yeah. Is the. So now where's everybody the door? can. So now everybody can understand why. Where's the door? As yeah. in the door. For the apartment. Outside. Yeah. Through that. Through that. You go through the kitchen and then you go. Uh, I, okay, you I don't know how you, the, the kitchen is this big, like it's smaller than the space I'm in. And like right now, <laughs> I wish I could. I don't know if I can turn the camera, but there's my fridge and there's my there's my well, doors. Some natural my, light. Yeah, yeah. There's a yeah. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. But yeah, now you, everybody medicine. understands why, because straight there, like behind that door, is also the toilet. So now you can understand why. Uh, when I was audibly vomiting, everybody could hear it. You know, <laughs> oh, the, oh the, all the stories finally make a little sense. The best part of the dad and son's vomit saga was that I could not actually hear it in the Skype call, <clears throat> but I did hear it in editing, which meant that Matt and I did just casually speak as Carry if we on. were like so vampire. <laughs> what did I just come in on to? Hey, oh my God, how's James? it going, guys? What's hey. up? How are you, James? James? Is here. I'm doing quite well. How are you guys doing? Long time no... I was going to say no see, but then I was going to correct myself. But no, I can actually see you this time. Hey! hey. Wow, yeah, stepping up your that's game. That's new, isn't it? Yeah, the yeah, production the value is going on. I apologize <laughs> that you have to look at this, James. Yeah, yeah, I, I just, yeah, I just opened up the live stream and I just caught the tail end of you like showing off your tiny apartment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't yeah, Wait, the, this was before or after the policeman, this apartment. This oh. is the after. How the many one with the police after? is like 
is like four floors down. From but it's the same size? It's the same size, yeah. So they had to walk through your kitchen? So there was 10 fucking police officers in a room this size. <laughs> oh, my Lord. And they're like, did you murder somebody in here? I'm like, bitch, oh, where the I... fuck am I going to put a body? I, I vaguely remember this story. You told this in the podcast like a while ago, didn't you? Yeah, right. I did. Yeah, yeah, you remember this. Oh, my God. This is that gets way funnier when you see how small that room is. Yes, it does. <laughs> my, my enormous mass takes up fifty percent of the space as is, let alone somebody else's mass. But James, we Man. we have you here. I'm here. How's my audio levels, by the way? I don't know if I'm too loud or quiet or whatever. Oh, I mean, to me, good. you sound crispy and wonderful and, <laughs> and sexy. But to the the listeners, it's anyone's guess. They'll they'll let us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah, the stream, the stream will tell us. <laughs> Nitro so, Dad. <laughs> um, you, uh, Nitro Dad is here. <laughs> I, know, I normally get a little, like, uh, weird out when people call me Nitro Dad, but this is the only context in which I'll allow it. <laughs> <laughs> only context. <laughs> Proud to be a Nitro Dad. So, on... On on the note of all the other announcements that have been happening this week, we also have the RE3 remake, which yes. has a trailer that looks like a... a bombastic cinematic video game of course i don't know if i like what they did with jill you guys she looks she, fine she uh, looks fine but she looks really different than yeah. i thought like like the new leon because they're they're uh scanning actors i think now and the actor they yeah. got for leon really looked like leon but i don't know if i really buy looking at this person and being like yeah that's jill i'm a little uh Suspicious that they might have tried to pick someone who looks like Mila Jovovich. Mm. Um, yeah, so from some shots, I was like, hmm, that does look yeah. a little weird, like Mila Jovovich. Yeah, they also uh, gave her shoulder straps now because it's not the primitive uh, uh, 90s. Um, <laughs> she's wearing pants instead of a tiny little skirt. I don't know why I even live anymore, you know? <laughs> <laughs> CRE 3 is actually the only one I've never played so this will be like my first exposure to that one game in the series this remake yeah RE3 oh, RE3 is famous because of the nemesis which became a feature in the RE2 yeah. remake which made it a no brainer that they were going to be remaking RE3 eventually I'm wondering mm. eh no whatever I'll play it yeah I'll play it uh RE3, I don't want to say it's like a black sheep of the series, but it's kind of regarded as lower on quality than the, the, the highs. Like, Yeah, it's easily the one I hear Code people Veronica. not... Yeah, it's it's easily the one I don't uh, hear people talk about as much. No, Resi 3 Nemesis is definitely not a black sheep compared to Resident Evil 0. Come on. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah, that was nobody talk about, ever. Yeah, Resident Evil 0 is hot garbage. Like, come on. But 3 is infinitely better than that has has that nemesis and the first the first few hours when when you're getting hit by by stuff that's a surprise basically having him chase you across multiple rooms was a big surprise back then in the day i i'm sure they'll figure out something to do with it now it'll be fine the trailer looks fine jill looks fine i don't know if i like her but it's fine i watched carlos, some, like, Carl, uh, let's talk about how carlos carlos looks great oh I, I I watched some developer thing that's saying that like three was apparently more action oriented instead of survival focus like two was. I don't know how true that is, but really? like that's that's what the that's guy said. That's what they said about that the two one. when they were developing two. Is that <laughs> really? what they say about every Resident Evil game? They're just like I, this. Time... I guess so. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, you that's just what I saw. You wouldn't have known it by actually playing it, but most of the pre-launch interviews back in 1997 were like with RE2. We're taking it in a more action-oriented direction, which basically, in practice, meant three or four new zombies could be fitting on the screen in a single room. They gave mm. you a slightly faster gun to account for that. But other than that, it's still a survival horror game as much as the last one. It's yeah. I mean, because yeah, I was just gonna say that that worried. Oh yeah, I was just gonna say that worried me a little bit because like, you know, it's not the first time Resident Evil's done that, and I kind of stopped caring when they did that. But then Mm. I started caring again when they started making it more survival focused. Like when Seven came out, I was all over that. Oh, uh, speaking of, did you like Four? Focus. Yeah, I, I like four, but like getting into five and six is when I kind kind of started being like, yeah, yeah, I think these games are getting like. I not mean, so... nobody will blame you for not liking yeah, six. Yeah, or... I know. I know. I'm not and the only even one. Even five. <laughs> yeah. I mean, five's fun, 
but like it wasn't like a survival game. Oh, like, with with too. five, they definitely went in an action oriented direction. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I was getting flashbacks to that when I saw that developer thingy. Um. So they're going to be packaging it with a new multiplayer spinoff. Yeah, I saw that too. Resistance. Which they Project they Resistance. showed that they showed that first for some reason like a while ago, like a couple of months ago. I guess they? yeah, they did, there and it was it was at TGS. It was at yeah, Tokyo Game Show. That's where it was. That's where it was. It was mediocre. <laughs> uh, what what is it? Three v one or four v one? Um, Dead by Daylight it's, it's, situation. Do you remember? Do you remember Evolve? Do you remember the game Evolve? Yeah, where yeah. you had the you know how, Yeah, one person is like a monster, and then everybody else is trying to run away. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like that, but imagine you're like a. a you're like a, a game a dungeon master and you're basically placing monsters in the world for all of the other players to fight against. And you're like sneakily using cameras to like see the game world and you're like placing like all different types of enemy variations in areas of the map. The guy like in the your... chat says you're basically jigsaw, I guess. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, a pretty that's... apt description, I it's... think. That this has been experimented with before. There's a multiplayer mode for Zombie U. Oh, I was going to say that reminded me of something on the Wii U, and I yeah, couldn't think of my... Yeah, think that's it. Yeah, that Zombie it. U did something like it, that. It, it was almost an RTS-style asymmetrical mode. It had an overhead map that you put zombie spawners and barbed wire yeah. and, and obstacles and whatnot. Around. But yeah, I, I don't know. It does seem a little transition year These... I don't know mm. if either RE3 or Project Resistance give me give me the feeling of a big flagship release. It's uh, I was uh, I was kind of thinking they were going to do that Resistance thing by itself because they had like a bunch of online stuff. Like they had what was it like Operation Raccoon City that wasn't good, and they had like another one of those. I I just figured this was going to be like a third one of those, but I think packaging it as part of like an actual core single player thing is a better idea. Yeah. And kudos to them for doing that, because one of the big criticisms of RE2 on launch, I don't know how much any of us are going to agree, but there was always criticism that it was too short and not enough content. But yeah, 2019, because that was um, January, really. Uh, it was. It was early this year, but I, yeah. I don't know. I, I would rather a short game that's like really good and I can replay a lot than something that's just like long and daunting. So I, I remember RE3 is still pretty short. Like the original is still like 10, 15 hours between that. Since so when is 10 hours short? But RE2 is like <laughs> also the same length of time. Man, game lengths can be measured in fucking work weeks. It's absolutely ridiculous how goddamn long a lot of them take. Um, That's all. Yeah, <laughs> that's all. <laughs> I feel like a linear single player campaign that is under... 12 hours is like the the sweet spot really yeah yeah definitely. like i don't want to play uncharted for 25 hours so like, oh no, no absolutely i don't want to do that no. i don't want to fucking do that like please don't do that unless it's like a second playthrough on crushing or something like that <laughs> and you're well, fucking, oh, you that have no horrible. other game to play in the world <laughs> so, that sounds horrible so james you have yeah. any is is anything in the news interesting you these days uh, I don't know what's in the news other than the RE3 oh, yeah, thing. Because, right. like, all the, all the news has... I feel like all the news that, like, I would have known about is happening tomorrow. So I don't yeah, really know the news right now. Game Awards. I, I was... God damn it. I, I had it in my mind. Someone <laughs> told me earlier this week that that was happening on Wednesday this week. So I was really looking forward to seeing a flood of people come into the stream afterwards. But whatever. It's, it's still fine. We, we got us 150. We picked it 200. And, uh... You know what time it is? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Yeah. What? Yeah. Let, let, let's let's delve into a little bit of what James has been up to. James, what do you what have you been doing? I'm making YouTube videos in my bedroom. Oh, that's no. all I do. I can't. I can't tell <laughs> you did if, not say I can't, that with enthusiasm. I can't tell if that was <laughs> George that who said that or. Was, uh, <laughs> Give it a few years. No, you can edit it. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't really live a very oh, exciting man. life. I'm just kind of. Yeah, it's yeah. Speaking of which, like everyone just got to see how awkward news can be sometimes on this podcast. <laughs> like, so I people... mean, whose fault is that though? Let's <laughs> let's be honest here. <laughs> I do a lot of editing on some chunks, usually the news. 
<laughs> yeah, because it's news. <laughs> News is something <laughs> wrong with news. That, that news is I, why a lot of people listen to pod. Like news is the whole reason I listen to the giant bombcast to begin with. Oh, yeah, yeah, but not that sense. <laughs> Wait, what? Because <laughs> yeah, I want to know what's going I on. I don't want to learn this joke. myself. <laughs> no, okay. like, that's that's where I get news is from podcasts. Oh, yeah, really? I, I no, not he's this all one about apparently. It. Like you guys were no, all like, no, we not. never want to talk about China and get in trouble. All the podcasts talk about China. <laughs> <laughs> The, the news talk segment, I feel, is something that we could figure out really, really well and when we could, it'll be super duper strong. It just needs to work with something that, like, matches our tastes and our interests because they're so disparate and different. But anyways, um... Are we yeah, if, airing our dirty laundry out on our only ever live stream show? This is the show. Sausage Festival! <laughs> wait, wait, let's, let's start with news first now. Forget wait, small talk, wait, wait, just no. go straight into the news. Right in the beginning. Let's try that. Da, 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 da. Welcome that's, that's to the yeah. segment you can skip. We're we're at the end of news, and unless you got anything else besides, uh, uh, I don't know, we talked about the big stuff this week, the the RE three remake, um, uh, Redbox <clears throat> getting out of rentals. Bioshock there was, there was some announcements the from the Nintendo thing, like Axiom Verge two. Oh, yeah, Axiom Verge 2 got announced. Okay, I guess people give a oh, damn about okay. Axiom Verge yeah, 2. I, I give a damn about Axiom Verge 2. I loved Axiom yeah. Verge. I'm not, I'm not even really like terribly big into Metroidvania games, but for whatever reason, that one really clicked with me. And I did not really, really expect them to do like another of the same thing. It looks like he's doing something really, like visually looks really different. So it does look know. really different. Like it watery, does, yeah. like liquid. A lot of liquid. But yeah. 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 You see, like, like I get super jazzed about stuff like Boneworks. And other people can get super jazz about about that one. And this is a democracy, <laughs> so we have both, George. We have both. This isn't some George so, Hitler Germany where we only talk about VR games. So, so finding like there, there's, there's a lot of I mean, I like VR games, but a lot of minor, small <laughs> announcements that if you're not real jazzed about it, they're just like, oh yeah, that's just I happening. Just how is Babylon's Fall, a new platinum action combat game published by Square Enix, okay. a small announcement? Because there's no story in the trailer. It looks super early. It's just people Who slapping each other with swords. Who for a story? <laughs> if, I, if I saw a trailer from Platinum and it was all story and I didn't see any of what the gameplay looked like, I'd be like, what the fuck? I mean, it's I hate to break it to you, Liam, but I literally played near for the story and not for the combat. All right, all right, all right, <laughs> all right. I all don't right. know. This Babylon is... Vanquish, which also got announced as coming out next year, rem uh, remasters of both those games. Like, come on. I saw come the I saw the trailer for Babylon's <laughs> Fall, and I it's they're demonstrating they completed the combat system. Like, it's better than a logo teaser. Like a nothing trailer, I, those nice. always make me mad. But I feel like they gave it a nothing trailer like a while back, didn't they? they I did. feel like I've heard they that did. name before. Yeah, yeah, they did. <laughs> like a year ago, think... they had like new hmm. game from Platinum published think... by Square, and everyone's like, "Oh, Nia." Then it's not. I think I'm more interested in seeing whatever is next in the works for uh, Elden Ring over over Babylon's. I, I Ooh, yeah, I definitely we'll agree. see some yeah. tomorrow. Okay, cool. Yeah, the VGAs when we also get to learn about Half Life Alex. Um, but yeah, okay, well, we accidentally ended up talking about other little, like, <laughs> news announcement topics that flew over my head. It's that... news! <laughs> this is what you wanted! <laughs> I don't know, man. There's no way that that Babylon's Fall trailer is something I was going to remember if you hadn't mentioned it. Oh my god, you're bringing Liam to tears. It's the same as the Resident Evil trailer. It's a trailer for a game coming out by a studio that is well known. There's a lot more production values in that RE, RE3 make trailer. And the game's a lot further along. How? You don't like cutscenes. And it, all it did is showed you cutscenes. Yeah, well... Just, the budget, There's, like, the way more acts. gameplay in the Babylon. Like, what, what's, what's going on here? I, I really wish I could chime in, but... And shiny. <laughs> I haven't seen the Babylon trailer, so I have yeah, not it's much like to all, say about this. It's all action. It's, it's like, all action. It's just combat. It's just what you want yeah. to see in a Platinum game. Well, there you cool. go. You see what the game oh. plays like. That's what I'd rather see I'm than so like... I'm so fucking sorry there you go. that a trailer <laughs> of a Japanese hack and slash video Get game consistent. that takes place in a... In a... <laughs> if I, I mean, then it... again, <sighs> if I see hack and slash gameplay, I think all hack and slash gameplay kind of looks the same. So that's what I'm saying. If you want to play a Japanese action game that takes place in a medieval Catholic 
cath cathedral environment. That you're n you're not exactly you're spoiled for choice. That trailer looks like other games like Bayonetta and DMC that is this developer's wheel horse. It's like it's business as usual to me. <laughs> that doesn't mean it's not news. <laughs> <laughs> you brought it back. <laughs> so we, still we miraculously managed to stumble and fumble our way through news like usual, which is why I would like to ask Nitro Red if you would like to accompany us for what is next. Because what is next? <laughs> what is? I don't, I don't know what is next. Right. What, 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 what am I saying yes to? <laughs> All right, yeah, the guys. Sausage fest. It is time <laughs> Are you to ready? take out your phones and dial in to the following number that is going to show up on the screen. And if everything is working okay, <laughs> then Hello. then we should get a good a good flux of calls here. If not, I might have to start taking them one at a time, which means okay, okay, here we go. Here we go. First first caller is is coming up. <clears throat> um hello and and welcome. To the dad and sons. Wait, no, they're not in yet. I, I still think they. <laughs> it says four people are in the call. Uh, uh, four I think? six though. I don't know if Wait, uh if these calls are the coming five and six? after all. James, people dad, since left. Are we taking two calls at once? You know what? We might even be able to. I <laughs> let's just no. make them like ask each other, and then they'll figure it out themselves. <laughs> I'm getting so a busy signal. I, let's I... Just, let's just listen. Hmm. <laughs> we get our own podcast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. It's not. Try again. It's it's not happening. What I'm gonna have to do here now is accept these calls one on one, and then slide you guys back in. So oh, I'm definitely gonna no. be sliming. Lord. I'm definitely going to be oh. sliming, if you will, Liam and Matt back in. And uh, James, do you do you want to be back in when when I when I get some some strangers on Slimy. the line? We need, here? Sure, we need sure thing. We need, we need James along for this this <laughs> train. Oh boy. Ride. All right. Well. Hello. Hello. Hello, and welcome to the Dad and Sons podcast with uh with with Liam Edwards and Matt Visual, and they're not here right now, but I am. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. Uh, well, hello, uh, George, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, it's it's me. It's George. It's it's Dad. It's me too. Oh, oh, we got we got <laughs> Liam in here now too. That's that's good. That's progress. That's lovely. Uh, <laughs> okay, so wait, wait, wait a second. We need Matt and James. We need yeah, them back. Yeah, we we got to get uh, Granicked. Uh, yeah. Uh, but first of all, hello, hi. H who are you? Hi, my name's Jonathan, but you can call me just John. Oh, nice to meet hi, you, John. Jonathan. Welcome we... to the train yeah, wreck. There we go. Hey, oh. welcome back. It's a lovely train wreck. It's a lovely <laughs> train wreck. So, so we have John on the line. Now James and Matt are in, so everybody's here. So Yeah, everybody's here. We have a, a strange question for you. James. All right. And uh, it's it's what? <laughs> Why do you listen to this podcast? <laughs> uh, by is... extension of watching oh. somebody else on YouTube, Fuck. and then I kind of liked it, and I kept listening. <laughs> No, God, now we're getting two. Not, this I is think, brilliant. No, fuck. I think I might have messed up my my James confusion. Ah, I'm sorry. Wait, I'm so Wait, what? confused. What just John, happened? John, John. I'm I'm confused too, and I'm also no, George. <laughs> That's John. All right, let's John. let's let's start this again. We have oh my God. Nitro Red James, and we have caller on the line John. Hi yes. John. Hello. <laughs> Hello! I'm still here somehow. <laughs> you are still here. John, what is your favorite part about this podcast? What's your favorite story or your favorite arc? Your favorite moment. Mm. Your There's favorite a lot dad. To pick. Favorite There's... son. <laughs> yeah, I can't just pick all three of you, you know. I no. have to pick one. That's a lot. Uh, but if I have to be honest, there's like a lot that I listen to this podcast, but if anything, it's just 
like listening the first episode and noticing how the, everything just changed for like a long time. It's just <laughs> oh. it, like three people, hundred episodes is like amazing. So we like you can tell that we're learning as we go. <laughs> <laughs> we were so basically what he's saying is we were utter garbage. <laughs> look at Matt. Character you can progression. actually look at the face I love you guys. So Man, the gig economy is uh, something else. What a time to be alive. We're making money off of not being perfect or professional, and that's apparently how it works. Wait, we're making money? When, when did that happen? <laughs> well, you know, the Do idea... <laughs> so, so, John, John, do you, do you have a favorite moment from any episode? Ooh, that's Hmm. That's, On the spot. It's difficult. Yeah. I, I can't think to like just pinpoint one. There's kind of like a lot of stuff that I would like enjoy from you guys. But if anything, it's just like tuning in on like the first episode in like, fuck, how long has it been? Like, what, a year or two ago? Two? Oh my God. <laughs> Almost two. Yeah, we're on a two year anniversary this month. Yeah, Holy wow. crap. Oh, wow. Man. Pulling it like half yeah. time. A hundred episodes is two years. Is that okay? Yeah, uh, but yeah, I would I would say just like just listening in on the the first episode in my my like studio apartment for the first time and listening to you guys banter a lot. Uh, I guess that would be it because I can't. No, I can't just recall one. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. Uh, well, in either case, John, thank you very much for calling in. Thank you so much for calling, John. We, Wait, we, I have we, a question if that's, yeah. if that's all right. I, 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 oh, yes, okay. Yes, you first. Is John then, still here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, still here. Okay, so at the beginning of every episode, who are the dads and who are the sons? You decide. Oh, I want I want you right oh, now my God. to decide. Oh, my uh -huh, God. Uh -huh. They actually do get to decide? <laughs> I get to the I, I would I sign up for this. Huh. Who's, a, who's dads? Who's the sons? It is too much power. Uh, I agree. Oh, God. That's a lot of power. You just can't just put me on the spot. No, uh, you can't. You, I, you shouldn't, in fact. You can, and we have, and it's happening. <laughs> um, who are the dad and who is the sons? Um, I would say Lee is the dad and you're all the sons. Oh wow! Wow! I did not expect that, but okay. <laughs> so everybody's gonna call you Daddy Liam now. What Hello, Daddy. Okay. Hello, okay. baby. <laughs> there you go. Uh, uh, well, John, thank you for calling, John. Yes. <laughs> Thanks so would, much for calling in, John. Would you like an indie yeah. game code for Wargroove, Void Bastards, Outer Wilds, or Cadence of High Rule? Uh, I would say Cadence of High Rule. Great. There you go. Good choice. Is this a good callback number? Uh, yes, this is a good callback number. This is my personal number. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. All right. I'll. Uh... Ooh, we'll post it on the internet <laughs> later. Yes. Yes. Um, awesome. No, I I'll give you a callback later and get an email to send that code off to. Thank you very much. See you, John. Oh, thank you. What and... a nice young man. Yes. <laughs> Our, uh... Yeah. I do. <laughs> You guys good if we move on to the next one let's yeah. go to the next caller do we have to get out again. of Skype? yes again? yes you actually do <laughs> i'm sorry but that's wow that, that, that's <laughs> okay. the sausage fest we'll, we'll food is all out then hello hello and welcome hello? hello can you hear me okay yes hey how's it going i'm george uh this is sean how's it going Hi, Sean. Um, so we uh, are going to be in here interacting with you shortly. There we go. There we go. Um, I'm I'm I've returned. Hey, Sean, what's what's Hello. what's your favorite dad and son's drama? Wait, George, just wait for everybody to get back. Come on, man. Oh, do, do, OK. There's only two people in this call right now. Where's uh, Matt? Matt's not here. What are we going to do? Um, oh, God. Sean, what's your favorite food? Uh, Sean, what's your favorite movie? I quite enjoy pineapples. Pineapples are good. Uh, I agree. Brave Little Toaster. 
believe it or not. Tell us, tell us why we should hire you to replace George. What is your favorite oh, fear? Jesus, I'm working for jobs right now, too. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, there there you go. Send you my CV. I just updated it. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> send it in. <laughs> Have we got James? Where's James? I'm yeah. I'm working on it. I'm I'm I am I am trying to remember his, his his Skype name. I'm adding him in. This is a disaster. A beautiful, beautiful disaster. Yeah, this, this is this is not the way to do it. <laughs> hey, hey, Sean, how are you liking our live listener call in section? <laughs> well, and we got James we back in. Dollars are at least endearing. Yeah, yeah, and, and this is something that I wanted to keep in mind, right? The line between charmingly clumsy and depressingly clumsy is something that really scares me since watching BoJack. And, um, yeah, to, so so I do at least want to say that stammering our way through half-thought conversations here is is still better than the backup plan, and that we do deserve some credit for having a backup we plan. Do. <laughs> To be fair, in all seriousness, least, me and Matt didn't do anything. George organized this whole thing, and we can't. Which was a mistake. <laughs> which, which was, was a mistake, mistake, but he still did do it. So Wait, how is George. it a mistake? I'm <laughs> impressed with the dedication to this. As in, like, you knew there was a bad idea going forward, but you <laughs> kept going, and I'm actually kind of proud of that. Ah. <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> Which is uh, a bit of a flipped situation. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. I just accidentally left the call for a second. I hope you don't <laughs> mind. Wow. <laughs> oh, I'm man. Yeah, I'm so job. glad you're here, James. <laughs> <laughs> Questions you have? Okay, okay, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry for that. What was that? What was that? <laughs> I heard I heard the listener say stuff and we were we were talking over what happened. <laughs> I think the dad and son's yeah. podcast happened. I think I, that's what's happening. I guess. What happened? What happened to the listener? I I'm well, still here. I'm just like Sean. Sean's still here. We got okay. it. Sean, what's your favorite dad and son's moment or arc or saga? Um. The part where you guys were talking about refresh rate. Oh, and that whole argument oh into, yeah. That had a multi-episode arc. No, I will have you know that was not about refresh rate. It was about HDR capabilities of 4K displays. It was something to do about um like emergent technology that I don't think really matters, but people care about. Because the only fucking thing it did was make the screens blacker. The usual, like, like that's supposed to be a big deal. Oh wait, I have to slide Liam and Matt's little square back in back in their, their spot. <laughs> all right, that's all. But oh yeah, okay. I'm so sorry that like 40 years of of uncreative linear technological development to a conclusive logical end goal has has gotten to a point where video games are just less fun than vr games because the most you can do with the flat screen is make blacks blacker than last time that just seems so <laughs> unexciting to me <laughs> i bought it on tv because i like it <laughs> how much how much did it cost um about four hundred dollars yeah it's, it's, it's cheap now yeah it's come it's a yeah. standard with that being sure. said which twenty dollar game would you like <laughs> void <Yeah. Masters, laughs> war groove or uh we're down to outer wilds now the the cadence code has been offloaded i guess i'll take war groove i i enjoy strategy games and play oh yeah uh, what oh, a yeah, bizarre friend, you take that uh, is this a good callback number where I can get your email address later? Sure. Thank you. <laughs> what, what? And what are they, like, doing? Liam is shaking his head in his hands. Matt is, like, oh frowning God, because he's yes, sad. This such a good idea for this. Oh, what did you expect would happen, though? somewhere. 
on this episode, man. Uh, right? Yeah. Thank you. So, well, I appreciate you so much for calling, Troy. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll have George Coley. I appreciate Coley. the opportunity. <laughs> I'm looking forward to hearing back from your response. Yes, yes. <laughs> we will. Uh, we Thanks will... for joining up to the interview. Well, well I'll, I'll, I'll be back to you soon for for the code after that. But in the meantime, I guess we woo, we got we got one more to hit, guys. And uh, well, we didn't ask see. him who he thought was the dad or the son. Oh my God, you're right, <laughs> James. Uh, this is why you're here. Well, see, on. I didn't. I don't want to ask the same question again. I figured one of you guys would. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I just want to point out that that question over whether or not they're the dad or the son—that's not on the outline, okay, guys? I'm just following the outline here that I put together over the past and two order. days, and. <laughs> I actually forgot about that thing. I probably should have that open. Uh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't think it matters. I don't have it open either. I mean, I have it open, George. Oh, all the time, don't you, Matt? Of course. Yeah, all the time. All the time. How? It's because I've got, I've, got I've, got the chat, I've got the chat open instead. Come on. Come How on. can you even <laughs> talk? Like my, I would not know what to talk about. My brain would, would go to the bad place and... I know what you can talk about, George. What is uh, the bad place in George's head? I really need to know now. <laughs> the bad place is when I just start stammering and nothing gets done and nothing comes out. Um, I need to know if I should take a new podcast call it's when, it's right now or not. It's when he's walking. It's when he's walking through a neighborhood and there's a lot of gray men who approach him. <laughs> let, let's let's do some chat questions instead. Let's do some wait, chat wait, 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 we, we we got two more callers and then we can do that, right? We, we also two have more two more codes to give away. To I just these don't want to be booted out again. The last two we should have them both Matt, into the sorry. same call at once. There's the, sometimes <laughs> in life you don't get what you want. <laughs> the Rolling Stones. Is... <laughs> Hello and welcome. You were you were live on Dad and Sons, unfortunately. What's up, George? How you doing? <laughs> hey, hey, how's it going? Um, who? What's 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 your name, buddy? Who are you? Oh, oh, I'm Bat Lord. Oh, hey, you Bat know. Lord. Like, nice, nice you know. to hear a friendly voice that's attached to a friendly face. That's a a, a place you know here in a in a place where everyone knows your name. I am just trying to keep us <laughs> occupied while they come back. Hey, that works. Uh, oh, so oh, here's everybody. Hello, everybody. Uh, oh. Hello. This is an, an important hey, caller. A, a, you a, sound like the same two people we've had on. <laughs> no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Listen, oh, come on. This is this is <laughs> Bat Lord. This I, I is sound Will. nothing like anyone. Will, Will, <laughs> you you can back me up here. Before the podcast started, we spent the day working on getting this working better than it does, right? I can confirm we spent at least an hour and a half we... <laughs> of me getting call, calling George we... and being like, uh, I I don't I don't hear anything, or the call line is busy, or wait, wait, oh my you, God, there's so... too many Georges. So, you so know you're George? not actually a listener. You're just George's yeah. friend here to back hey. him up. Why can't he be yeah. both? <laughs> yes, are, all the, are all the callers in the, the thing, too? Like, is this all rehearsed as well? Yeah. No, no this, was, no, not no, no, this no. was not rehearsed. I just wanted to call because it sounded funny. Um, well, <laughs> what's what's your favorite Dad and Sons moment? Um, well, I've never listened I have to, to the admit, show. Never, <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, I've listened, I've listened to the show. No, 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 I've listened to the show. But um, I've, I've only listened, started listening to it much more recently. But, like, the standout moment for me was definitely when George announced the uh, indie game, the indie, the fresh indie game of the year award presented by Subway, and Matt thought it was, it was a joke, and then it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, I, I was dying. I was dying laughing in my car. I was like, oh, my God. And Uber Subway and <laughs> poor low and spec. sponsorships. And... Poor low spec thought I was like crazy. I was like dogging, <laughs> do going in on just journalists and everybody. And he probably thought it was totally serious. I, like I lose sleep over this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> he's never gonna listen to the podcast never gonna talk to us again <laughs> oh my god that that was absurd though hey Some hey will i gotta watch just for that hey hey yep. bat lord yep. um what what game do you like um <laughs> outer wilds or void bastard i'll i'll this take a i'll take void a void bastard because yeah because i am a void bastard i'll give you a void bastard <laughs> 
What is the void? Bastard? All right. I don't know. So, it's a void that we're in, trapped full of bastards. I it, don't was, know. <laughs> it was one of Liam's favorite it's games this, this year. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is. It was a good game. It's definitely the void podcast. Bastards. Did you finish it, Liam? Yeah. Uh, I I managed to complete oh, a full that. run. Yeah, yeah. Long run. So whoever what is, is our. <laughs> it's it's kind of a roguelike. It's kind of like a roguelike. Everything's randomly generated. So how long's a run? Also, uh, can I respond to Subway in chat? Yeah, this is definitely an episode of a fight called. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, you've had practice. Wow. This is like the fourth time you've I did. called I... him, technically. Yeah, I had I had foresight. I knew the number. Ugh. Hey, Will. Um, I knew the number beforehand. Actually, okay. I just click it and go. So, a couple questions for you guys. Um, Matt and Liam, you want to take one more caller or call it a quits after this? Well, we got one more code, so let's let's take the another caller. Is, we could give it out in chat, though. The last we could we could, we could we could do that. The last code is very unfortunately <clears throat> a X Bone only code for Outer Wilds because you cannot buy gifts. Ooh. So I wanted yeah. to know, Will, if you would be comfortable giving up your Void Bastard so that the people in the chat might... Well, he just can booed, so I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> I am, I am in fact, that. willing to defer my, my yeah. free uh, Bastard. Your, your nepotism voided. Bastard. I'm, I'm, right. I'm ready to Void my Bastard. Okay, so next question I mean, is... Now you've just been paid for an hour and a half's worth of work. <laughs> um, <laughs> or not. It wouldn't be the first time George has paid me. Uh, <laughs> Oh, yeah, no, wow. this guy... What type of services do you do, man? Cameron, this is just work. Look at the, the credits in, in the GDC hey. videos. He lives in California. When I'm in California, I hire oh. him for help. Oh. He was before your time, Matt. Not like that. Oh. Right. Yeah. oh. oh. George. Yeah, like you're Wait, pulling me into this. You are for that. So... I did no such things with George. <laughs> 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 the the final question of the night then is: Do we take one more caller, shuffle you guys in and out, and get a potential stranger on the line who could be a troll? Wait, we don't even that, know. What about what about the the dad and sons question? Oh yeah. yeah I'm sorry. The question I didn't think of that I'm expected to remember that I didn't put on the outline. <laughs> Well, I mean, you, you told me to say last time, and I didn't, so this time I was gonna. Go on, James, go on. Do, do you think? Who's the dads, who's All the sons? Right. You decide, I want you to say. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I, have, I, have, I, have, I have an entire family tree visualized in my brain. Oh. Matt Visual is absolutely the dad, because he has the best beard and the baldest oh. head. Okay. That is true. Uh, yeah. Well, that is true. Yeah. We the youngest son because he has the right love to spirit and actually put some video games. Sorry, you and might George need to still has life in them. Repeat that. Still, still there. Oh. Sorry. Uh, Liam is the youngest son because he's creative and he just plays video games sometimes. And George is the <laughs> oldest son because he's just sick of it all. <laughs> <laughs> it's always the firstborn that the parents are the harshest on to. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. That is yep. harsh to George. <laughs> he loves me. <laughs> <laughs> I was a single dad. What am I supposed to do with it with a kid like George? <laughs> Daddy, why are all your family gray? <laughs> there have been many moments in my life where I'm happy we don't have like a big ass dad and son's wiki. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Because you know, oh, people, you just. Yeah, you say that, I'm going to. Hold on. Let me get onto fanwiki.net and start oh, writing god. on it. Because oh, I'm sure that whatever the fans would read out of it would absolutely turn into daddy issue projections. Oh no. Come on. What? <laughs> well, I, with a name like Dad and Sons, how could you not have a lore full of daddy issue projections? <laughs> this True. reminds me when I went to eat sushi with you back in Atlanta. And we were with uh, some other guy, and he told me that you were adopted. When you were in the in the bathroom, you were adopted, and your adopted parents were black. He was adopted <laughs> that was in the, the bathroom? Lo- he was adopted, <laughs> and his adopted parents were black. And then when you came back, you were like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm adopted and stuff like that. And you're, do you remember that? A little bit. 
As soon as I said that, we we got a subscription audio gag. All right, I don't know. I'm feeling. <laughs> I I know it's annoying to shuffle you guys in and out, but I am I am let's, liking. Let's go. The Russian. No, I want to take. Here. I want to take one more right, call because this is this is just beautiful. One more call, and then we we'll, we have so, to do some chat questions. So the, the void, quick fire chat questions. Yeah, I I the void right. bastards should go to to someone who's out of the loop. Oh, thanks, sarcastic comma for the the subscription. All right. It's happening again. I'm gonna rotate all you guys out and take okay, another. Bye, everybody. Alrighty. We'll carry on talking, talking, everybody. Oh boy. Uh, hello, hello, welcome. You've made oh, it in. Hello. It's it's our our lucky fourth caller who is getting the third game code because I don't want to lump you in with an exponent code for for something you might not be able to play because the least amount of people have that console compared to the others. Oh, that's great, because I actually don't have one. <laughs> Imagine that. What a surprise. Yeah, the idea here was to give away some codes for our favorite games that uh, came out this year, but... I, I I had my suspicions that that Outer Wilds would not actually be able to mm -hmm. out into the hands of some by the end of the day here. Uh, hey, how's it going? What's your name? Oh, oh my name is Zach. Hey Zach, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Dad and Sons. Uh, hello Zach. Uh, so Zach, how hello? How how do you, how do you think of our podcast? What what does it make you feel inside? Uh, it, it gives me a lot of uh, a lot of joy, I guess. I, I like to listen to it a lot on the uh, on the on the bus on the way to work. Nice, nice. Is is it the positivity that brings you in? I've I've heard good things about how how we try to have you know a wholesome family friendly image here on the Dad and Sons podcast. And oh wait, I have to, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> add James in. <laughs> I'm gonna, I, I'll add, I'll add him. I'll add him. Don't worry, you carry on. <laughs> well, I also had Liam and and Matt Spot on on the screen, and that's been fixed. But anyways, um, back to Zach. Uh, hey, no, Liam could be me. Wow. I wish. There we go. I aspire. I aspire to be. <clears throat> All right, I'm here. I made it. Okay, Zach. Yeah, everyone's here. Continue. If if you had to specify or narrow it down to a particular moment or saga, is it, is it the naked roommates, the <laughs> the vampire vomiting, the the murder I mystery? About the naked roommates. <laughs> There, there was a, an on-air murder mystery for a day in the past on this podcast. Uh, is that the uh, the Liam police saga? Mm, yes. yes, yes. Might have been. Don't ask any <laughs> questions. Keep your mouth shut. <laughs> well, I, honestly, I think the the uh, Liam police saga was probably my favorite moment. I was actually on the bus and I had to stop myself <laughs> from uh, <laughs> picking up so people wouldn't stare at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. it was really difficult to do. I'm also going to apologize the next week because I can I can almost guarantee you, Zach, that you laughing on a bus was <clears throat> not worse than me thinking I was going to be arrested for life uh, by Japanese <laughs> police officers. Liam, did you I accept like... your apology? <laughs> Did you feel a psychological, a physiological reaction, like like a stinging in your gut? Did did you get goosebumps? Like what? How did the fear manifest itself on your skin? Uh, it, 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 it's funny because in the beginning it was more of a like uh, I was laughing. I was like, "Ha, huh, this is funny. What a weird situation this is." And then the longer they stayed there, and the more they groomed the apartment, I was like, "Oh." <laughs> oh no! I could be I could be one of I could be one of those stories where you're like, yeah, that guy was arrested. <laughs> <laughs> he did. You're gonna show up I in like some know. Reader's Digest story or something. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like Just some funny crime like that happened. Some crappy, uh, mm. sports magazine or something. <clears throat> And in other news, in Kyoto, Japan, white man arrested for murder. <laughs> <laughs> they 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 got to pin it on someone, right? Isn't that how the system works? I mean, yeah, ninety nine percent conviction rate doesn't really uh, settle your stomach all that well. I'll be honest. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. Yep. So, uh, That's Zach, right, scary. Let's 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 have Nitro Red give you the the honorary question that I actually remembered this time. Third time's the charm. Oh. I actually forgot this time, so it's 
I've leveled up and you have leveled right. down. Take that. I have you 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 stole a level for me. All right. Who's the dads? Who's the sons? You decide. I want you to decide right now. Decide now I on have your to decide phone. Right now. Ooh. Right now. Not a second later. Oh. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> um um uh uh match the dad. Uh again? I think. <laughs> I'm sorry. You 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 just have a very dad quality of the beard. Very you dad. He does, he does kind of look like he does kind of look like Kratos a bit. Yeah. Hey, okay, so but he does. He's like Black Kratos. I'm never gonna unsee that now. Oh my oh, god. No. <laughs> Man, you're gonna get Kratos fan art like right after this. You should, you should do a cosplay. <laughs> you know. Now I'm thinking about it. Yeah. I mean, you should go for it. But who who is the oldest and who is the youngest son? I don't know. Uh, I'd say probably Liam is the oldest. Uh, he kind of seems what? more uh, experienced. I'm sorry, he is more experienced. He moved to Japan. <laughs> That's a I lot. Do that. But I am full of someone. washed up sadness. George, you can't ask me to ask a question and <laughs> then get mad at the guy when he answers. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever watch I'm... congressional hearings? That's I... how it works. <laughs> I'm full of washed up sadness too, but I'm not the oldest. <laughs> Zach is if a void helps, bastard. I find you the most relatable. <laughs> is is a void uh... bastard code okay? Can I can I call you on this number later and give it to you? Yes, you can. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Zach. Thank you for so up. Thanks. <laughs> no, it, it was great. I, I loved every every second of it. <laughs> oh. Good. I'm glad you did because I don't think many others did. Uh, <laughs> bye. <laughs> Have a good night. So that was that. That was four uh, calls. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm glad that we didn't just read. I'm glad that we didn't do Plan B. I'm glad that we did plan A and a half. <laughs> What's plan B? What was plan Did we B? have a plan B? Yeah, yeah, I, I had a look at the outlines. the outlines. Look at the outlines. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The game awards just yeah. subscribed to us. Look at guys. We we just got subscribed to by the action. I hope that's the actual Game Awards Twitch account. I don't know. I'm kind of going crazy. Did the, ga did the Game Awards Twitch account? Wait, I think it is the Game Awards Twitch Wait, account. Wait, what? Let me, let, me, let me look that up with the same spelling and everything. It's verified. It is that. Oh, They're verified. You... What? Yeah. No, it's not. Holy shit. Yeah. The Game Awards is that, just is that subscribed. Jeff himself. Jeff, is that you? company. <laughs> Jeff, we love you, Jeff. <laughs> Jeff Keighley, if you're watching, no, I'm sorry for making him. fun of you on Twitter no. two years ago. Either Jeff Keighley or the guys who do his PR duties just subscribed to this channel <laughs> right after <laughs> call number four. So if if you are somebody attached to the, the Game Awards or you are Jeff, please, please respond in the chat. Please. When when you turn also it on invite us next this year. Win game of the year. When you turn it on yeah. to see Death Stranding win all the awards, they're they're gonna know who were leading that conversation, and it was us, us three. Yeah. <laughs> also, like, good luck with tomorrow and stuff. But please invite us for next year's show. Like, please let us three present an award. Like oh. uh, the subway, the subway fresh. Let Matt read I would it out. Do the subway fresh. I would Soft wear the boy. costume. Oh, Softboy oh. Robert just posted in chat, George wins the Jeffy for Subway Presents Freshest <laughs> Dad and Son. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely is not the freshest. So yeah, oh, that's uh, Matt. to bring oh. us back to an earlier point, yes, I did plan us a plan B in the outline. There's a lot of uh, listener questions we could have read, but I'm glad that I... I we still took calls. Like, even though the method was we did. inelegant, we did. We, it, it happened. It worked as well as for us as it possibly could. And like, no, one, it did. no one ended up just, like, saying the N-word a bunch, too, so that was cool. That's, <laughs> that's one thing I'm always scared of, like, legitimately. No shit, <laughs> yeah. like, for real. Yeah. You can't Good thing you that happens a lot. After the calls. <laughs> Well, no, because you don't want to encourage them beforehand. That just gives them ideas. Exactly. Matt, you, got, you got to know how to play the game, man. 
Yeah. Now you have to wait another hundred episodes so they can forget about it. <laughs> and then we forget about it, and then we can do this again free yeah. without. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we we should do Plan C, which is to take some comments from the chat, right? Uh, okay. <laughs> I mean, we can't. I don't know. We've been going on for two and a half hours. This happened the last it's, time you streamed. It's with the one hundred. It's this it's the one hundredth episode bonanza. It has to be a hundred hours. Yeah. <laughs> All <laughs> no. right. Uh, username you listen one. Listen the whole thing when you play through. Look a at the fear in his face. <laughs> username one just asked, "What is your favorite gamer goo?" So, for those who don't remember who were in the chat, I oh. got a press release for an actual product that exists called Gamer Goo. And right. I'm going to go into the bowels of my inbox and look up that press release and see what flavors they came in so we can decide what kind of gamer goo we want to slime all over our hands. Flavors? Peppermint, <laughs> cinnamon, orange. Yeah, you there, put it in stuff your mouth? like that. Um, no, it was hand moisturizing cream. So why is it? What are you? Wait, wait, wait. So, what, what so it does seems it make? We're not going to get what any chat flavors? responses. We're, we're not going to get any chat responses because somebody set the room to emo only, and now we don't have any questions. Oh my god! I bet it was Will. Uh, <laughs> Bat Lord wow. enabled emo only mode for this room. Yeah, because he's a real funny guy. Oh, oh wow! Yeah, look, who now... is who is Oling Park? Nice. Drop in, drop in some codes for people who didn't win anything. Uh, oh, okay. That's not uh, cool. peppermint, us cinnamon. At all. Orange, cherry blossom, vanilla sugar, tweak wood. Mm, I do vanilla. And orange. Another orange. Why what is it too orange? What the hell is teak wood? Teak wood? I don't know. Oh, is cherry blossom a flavor? Can you eat cherry blossoms? Uh, in I... Japan, they usually have a flavor of cherry blossom. It ten generally tastes like a weird strawberry. Okay. But that like, I'm fun. still confused. Do you eat this stuff or... You say uh, you no, you don't. Hands. You don't. You don't eat game goo. I don't think. No. So when you put it on your hands and then you eat a sandwich, your hands makes the sandwich taste whatever flavor and you put on your I, hands. I mean, I imagine every every time uh, you have your business, you get game goo. I do not know if game goo is body safe. Uh, <laughs> I, is it? Uh, oh, is what I'm asking. I'm. Don't, I don't understand this game goo at so all. So that your hands can smell like gamer. So oh. they're not flavors, they're scents then. Guys, I really have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> it's, for, it's for people who don't take baths, I think. You know? I'm gonna hey, George, to... George, you, you, you step out of here. We'll, yeah. we'll, we can do this. I'll just press a button this. here. I'll, I'll be back in like five minutes. This... Mute your audio this time. Last mute, time we heard you, you mute your audio. We'll, we'll carry on. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll be back in like, like three to five minutes. Okay. <laughs> oh, shit. I just so... got rid of Matt, not me there. Gamer Goo just subscribed! <laughs> Yay, Gamer Goo! Hell yeah. Oh, that's what they're doing. People are making up stuff? Is that what's happening? Maybe. Well, no, the Game Awards was a verified account, so I don't know about that. We can look at that later. We can check the records. So, chat, now is the time. We're free of daddy. Like, send us, send us your comments. Send us your questions. People are saying it was a gift have? sub. I'm not sure what that means. Oh, that gifting subs. Oh, okay. No, right. it is gamer goo. Rip. So weird. What oh, wait, the fuck? So did, did somebody in How here gift the game awards a sub? Maybe. <laughs> oh, I think oh, that's that what happened. What's happening? I think is that's that... what happened. I don't think Jeff Keeley was actually watching this and no, clicked no, the subscribe button. I, I don't yeah. <laughs> And I, I don't, don't take I, offense to that. I yeah, no. no. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so either. <laughs> I mean, if they're gifting subs, it's fine. <laughs> Trevor's gonna be heartbroken when he hears this. Aww. <laughs> so Liam, was it worth taking off work for this sausage festival? You know it, baby. <clears throat> I've oh, just right, it's like Matt. daytime for you. I've just stared at Matt for like three hours. What people don't realize is that. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> what did I just watch happen? <laughs> Chemistry. Chemistry, baby. That's why this podcast is so good. Uh, what people don't realize is that very soon after this is the, my company's end of year party, which uh, in Japan is called a bonenkai, and I am going to get <laughs> fucking wasted. Wait, say that again? <laughs> a a bonenkai? Yeah, that's exactly how you pronounce it, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> bonenkai. That's how I heard it. <laughs> 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 oh, good Say it again. 
Bonin Kai. <laughs> Bonin Kai. You totally say Bonin Kai. Bonin Kai. You literally just Bonin said Bonin Kai. Said, no. <laughs> Bonin, Bonin Kai. Bonin Kai. Bonin Kai. Easy. Easy. All right. Bonin okay. Kai. I'm I'm just immature. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, the word bones going, in it. I'm going. I'm going to the company. And in. Bone and guy oh, okay. Now it's funny. <laughs> I, missed, I missed the in. Wow, my brain went went soared right over that part. Bone in. Bone in guy. Oh, I'm still bone here. In guy. So I'm Fallen Free says I'm here to complain about Liam mistaking the two puzzle game Zach's. I know. I was upset with myself too. <clears throat> Please forgive me, Zax. Bone King Kai. I Matt, was thinking about Dragon Ball Z as well. Yeah. Yeah. Moist Face asks Matt, do you have any tips for growing facial hair? Oh, man. People come up to me all the time. Uh, you either got it or you don't. <laughs> I, I, like, I, I, I am somebody who does not have it. Yeah. Like, can you even yeah. do something to make yourself grow hair if you normally can't? Probably surgery. Stop shaving, maybe. <laughs> I mean, stop I mean, shaving. Obviously, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I wouldn't buy creams. Uh, I mean, you could, you could get those. What is this? It starts with a B. It's this is thing that makes you grow hair everywhere, yeah, <laughs> and grow. you could just shape off the rest and then grow. You know, keep the stuff on the facial hair. I know. When I used to work retail, we used to sell like beard oil and stuff. But I don't know what any of that does. Hormones. I'm moisturized. Yeah. yeah. Wait, are we still talking about gamer goo? No. <laughs> no. Ga- gamer goo did subscribe. I, I rub gamer goo on my face and I use that yeah. as shaving cream. And I grew up. I grew up. Yo. User me one says, "Can Liam licked his signed Switch cartridge he flexed earlier?" Oh Aren't yeah. They disgusting? I saw they that. Disgusting? What? What was that? What were you doing nope. back there? I was trying to cover my face for a brief second, but the only thing I have is this Breath of the Wild. Caught signed the by only AJ thing I had. Oh, oh, oh you just had it the lying flex. around just next to your yeah, you desk. Just keep doing it. Oh, yeah, like, look, it's Switch games, man. Like, I, come yeah, on. look at this what, giant case I could have held up us? instead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <wow. laughs> uh, all right, all right. They taste disgusting, right? Right. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Wait, that's the first time you've oh, heard that's, that? I tried oh, it. Oh, that's fucking, that's fucking weird. Wait, you've never I tried it. Have you never tried that? No, I, I know people say that. I've never. But you never tried is, it yourself. That's so gross. Yeah, that's, that's, that's like a ritual when you buy a Switch. You're like, I wonder if this is true or not. Never. Yeah, uh, everyone does that. You guys have done this? Yeah, yeah of course. I've thought about you it. fucking weird? It's a gamer yeah, ritual, dude. Put it in it's your okay. mouth, George. Do you, do you do it while also rubbing gamer goo all over yourself? Is that <laughs> is that the ritual? No. Oh. Wow. You so, know, gamer goo, it's good lubrication, probably. So what did I? Oh my. What, what, what did I miss <laughs> while I was in the bathroom? Send in your there. questions and comments. Let's let's direct some towards uh, George, James, Matt, and myself. Come on. It's the ten 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 goo eggs. <laughs> ten, ten go. gamer goo eggs and go ten go eggs yeah oh we should order some for the we should give out codes for ten go eggs that's what we should do uh can i play uh, long, long, yeah uh, yeah uh, i was just uh, about to long square no, no, says stop, stop trying politely... to segue george <laughs> long square says can i politely ask you to say trans rights it's not a meme like it used to be but you know it's still nice trans rights what? trans, trans rights, rights? Trans rights. Wow. What is George's wow. bathroom like? It needs a scrubbing. Um, <laughs> I'm using a. Why do you assume? <laughs> I'm using a shower curtain liner from a previous roommate. <clears throat> I have uh, three medicine cabinets, and only one of them is full. And I have the Nvidia <laughs> Ass Blaster 9000 GTX, and it. it's amazing, and he I does... love it. Yeah, he does have Wait, a great what? toilet. Yeah, dude, my toilet is Nvidia. Up your dad's you said toilet, Nvidia. Dude, it's the <laughs> Nvidia Ass Blaster GTX 900 Plus HD XD XRD. What DX is this happening? Is, is this, this one another of those, moment like, subway where Matt? Jokes again? Yeah, I was gonna say, is this a moment where Matt <laughs> thinks you're joking, but you're not? Yeah. It uses a water cooled pipeline to wash your butt. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, don't you, don't like this. If you go to Amazon, you can buy some pretty good 
ass blasters for like 60 bucks. Are we going to have this conversation again? Is that what we're I doing? Mean, two and a half hours into the 100th episode streaming spectacular? The same the people stuff. who are here. I don't know why you know, you're, you're the one who brought it up. This. I don't know why you're asking us. We got, we got we got like 140 people expecting us to talk about oh, something. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What, what topics can we... We pull out of no. the earth. Just here. Let, let, like send in all your chat comments. It just we'll quick fire go through them. Questions, comments about the show, moments you love. Just let's let's uh, throw it all in well, for Bonanza the, at the end. Joshua thirty two. Yeah, yeah. I just hooked the ass blaster up to a DSL connection. So um, you know, one plug <laughs> goes in one side, another plug goes at the other, and oh, it's really plugs involved. really smoothed out the flow of communication you can play nice. you can play tony hawk's pro skater 2 at the same time as having a shit you know yo, online. yo liam i actually wonder if those fancy ass japanese ass blasters can play doom probably can i mean I, attacking can, probably can a hacker do that i want to play doom with the toilet <laughs> there's no screen so i don't know maybe you could well there's a water bowl it's, it's could like <laughs> I don't know, squirt some food coloring or something. <laughs> All right, let's go through some questions. Food uh, coloring. What color oh. would you choose? Oh. It could be one of those projector things I project on the water flow. Well, since it's doom, it would be a lot of red and brown. <laughs> oh my lord. Uh, <laughs> Cola Which... the doctor asks, "Who is the dream guest for the podcast, guys?" Jeff We've Keaton. already had him, Barry and uh, Barry and James. We got him. You know, when you're at the top, there's no way to go, but but nowhere. Yeah, no. I, I, I want <laughs> I want David on here, man. David oh, are we gonna Cage. break the? David Cage. Are we gonna break the news to George about the Game Awards subscribing? No, 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 no. no that no, that was no, real. No, no, That's no, totally no. real. Okay. Oh, yeah. Totally real. yeah mm. real. Imagine if you had Jeff. <laughs> Jeff, David, and David on at the same time. That Jeff Keeley, David Cage, and David Hayter, all the, the three the three enemies of the book. <laughs> <laughs> I would actually in, Who are you? <laughs> yeah. If, who are you guys? I don't know if this really counts as a podcast guest or not, because I would really like to do a podcast with Randy Pitchford and just not release it. Like just regular oh. podcast, like j just to see what would happen. Because I'm really curious, but I also don't want to be associated with his. Can you imagine if brand? we played the most elaborate pl prank on him and we asked him to come on the show, record a whole episode, and then get him to tweet about it, and then be like, "We we never we never record." <laughs> well, no, no, I don't. Uh, what, is he, what is he talking? I'm not, about? I'm not, I'm not <laughs> hypothetically suggesting being an ass. I'm I'm curious for the experiment of it. What would actually happen? In that case, happen? just censor, censor all of your guys' voice, but just leave his. <laughs> just have him talking. <laughs> <laughs> this is Randy on Randy. Randy Welcome Pitchford, to Randy and Sons. Special guest. Randy and Sons. Jim Sterling <laughs> is moderating. And, and <clears throat> I don't know, the, the, the rageaholic oh, can call in oh, for questions. That would, yeah, that would be a disaster. Uh, uh, Super Bunny Hop. Uh, Will there be a meetup at Magfest? I don't know yet if I'm going to go to Magfest. The rooming situation is wonky. Uh, I don't have a final answer for that. Probably because Randy Pitchford said no. <laughs> um, I are, can no. no. Are you guys my interested? Game of the year is not Death Stranding. Go. No, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> are you guys interested in going to PAX East? I know that you guys. Well, Liam goes to PAX West, and that I went to PAX West. I might be. Magfest this is steadily become so much of a trouble that i'm thinking of switching over to paxes actually can we can, like when are we going to do a panel we got i mean we've got the live show done now it's this but i know in, in Valve okay Valve. so but James, can we fill an auditorium let's be real here i mean we got 140 people now i was was it james or no it was james james you're huh? talking about how terrifying it actually is to take callers from fans because you're worried someone's going to say the n-word a bunch Oh, yeah, yeah, that's, absolutely. That's, like, been a legit block behind why I have not organized a panel for myself. Like, I am just so afraid. Really? Because I actually, gotta, I actually did a panel for a first time ever just uh, two months ago. Oh, yeah, but there's, like, some people out there that I, I don't, I don't want to have. James, how did, how did your panel go? Um, I did a couple of them. The first one in my head went awful because I was, like, I felt awkward. I didn't know what 
to do. I actually sat there staring at everyone for three minutes and the guy came up and was like, what are you doing? Are you going to go? And I thought they were going to tell me to go. <laughs> but <laughs> oh, once I kind of knew what I was doing, the ones after were all just fine. But like, um, I mean, I understand like that whole thing. But like, if you're worried about that, just like don't film it and upload it because then, you know. But what if I still get harassed or confronted or then you tell them the life, fuck off. Yeah, this is life, yeah, but it still would hurt. I did a panel at PAX about what is your favorite, what is the best ranking for Final Fantasy. Nobody punched me about my opinions there. I think you'll be okay. Yeah, because your opinions are whack. All right, you. <laughs> but Keep that shit to yourself. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no I, don't play, I haven't played enough to... Yeah, but to, to give an opinion. So far as like future travel plans go, I'm actually really looking forward to going back to Japan for Nintendo Land. And this time I'm bringing Matt with me if he will leave his job for a week. Yeah. We're going to be together. We're going to be yes. together. Yeah. Um, Hiking 0036 asks, when's the Death Stranding close-up? I need to play it. Well, after the spoiler cast I did with Matt last week, I decided to rewrite what I had. and Because uh, you got called out. <laughs> you got called out. I'm 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 not giving a date those, on things. Those comments to last week's episode spoiled the game for me, so Whoa. I just watched a video of this cutscene. Oh, it's stupid, isn't like, it? Okay. Oh, so, no. so wait, wait, James, you yep. you still need these spoilers kept from you, right? Um, I'm at chapter no, five in Death Stranding, but I don't particularly. I don't particularly care that much because I find the writing infuriatingly terrible. Yeah, no, you're yeah. not wrong. This is a game where you gotta like pay attention more to stories <laughs> and implications than the narrative of the plot that goes on. It's but I'm with you, but but they I just hate how like it's like poetry for idiots. Like yeah. they tell you what the themes are, and they're like, "Are his name's bridges because bridges connect people, and you got handcuffs, get it? Because they connect people and." Uh, I, I just feel like they beat you over the head like you're an now, idiot with that shit. Keep in mind that J.J. Abrams wrote on <laughs> his kitchen board that he's a genius. <laughs> keep that in mind. Well, just because the guy translating his English is doing it redundantly doesn't mean that's all there is there. Whoa, 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 whoa. That is not true. The the actual script itself is pretty much almost one to one. Kojima had complete control over the English nuance because of the because of the history he had with hating Jeremy Blaustein's translations from Metal Gear and stuff. Kojima is so tight over the English script. There is no way that well, in some way the nuance of with which the story comes across in English, especially considering it was all voice acted in English and then translated into Japanese. That that isn't Kojima's script. And there is more to it than just the redundancy in which he will repeat the previous first line. Slightly but it's different full words. on Kojima. Yeah, no, like, you're not wrong, no... but there is more to it than just that. I mean, if you're the... talking about like the, the gameplay stuff, I like, like that a lot. Like the idea of like indirectly being connected to other people's games i think does a much better job of like kind of exploring that theme they're trying to explore than the freaking dialogue does that's what i think is is <clears throat> interesting though is how it all folds into very tight theming like as as stupid and redundant as the writing and the story are they still stick to some some interesting unconventional destinations to go to so am I just like at a point where I haven't seen that yet? Because so far it's pretty just kind of silly to me. Yeah, yeah. There's some. You won't, you won't see it. There's. Well, well, he he hasn't gotten to the mountains yet, and there's one cool cutscene out there. There's like one cool ending sequence towards the end, but those those I've said it before on this podcast. Like that's true. It's that's you got to keep a meal in front of you for the cutscenes in that game. That's the part of the game where you are meant to. <laughs> tune out and not pay attention to it it's not worth it yeah yeah, yeah. no well let's look about what death, else the death of this <laughs> podcast is uh on the way <laughs> you ready to wrap up <laughs> i am so ready to wrap up 
<laughs> it's 1 30 a.m look at my eyes it's 2 30 for we me we can't see you oh that's right oh wait it's 2 30 in canada holy shit thanks Jay. it's uh, i'm in i'm in atlantic uh time nova scotia oh. has the latest time zone in north america oh Jeez. so you're basically oh so basically you are me every week because we uh, yeah. 2 30 a.m my time I'm only probably only one hour ahead of George, though. Liam, when you asked me to be on this, and you were like, "Yeah, around 9 p.m." I'm like, "All right," and here I am, <laughs> at like 1:30, waiting for you guys to like message me. Okay. I didn't realize it was gonna be this late. Yeah, I also so, should, should probably ask, like, "Oh, damn, are we are we butting into zone. anything?" Because also, James, I I did kind of sort of like intend for you to just be there for news, but. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like I'm I've literally got nothing to do tomorrow and my sleep schedule is kind of like buggered up anyway. I'm sleeping until like 12 wow. every day and waking up. James, like, we appreciate yeah. you. Yeah, we appreciate. <laughs> and thank before you. thank you. And before we leave. Well, Dad. <laughs> thank you. Thank you to everybody who has listened to this <laughs> dumpster <laughs> of a podcast for a hundred episodes. Thank you yeah. to everybody who tunes in every week, who comes on and awkwardly calls us and says, it's still like the highlight of that week. That like <laughs> means a lot. So I like, I'm like everybody in the chat. Who's like telling where they are in the world right now. Like they're different time zones and stuff. Mm. Like oh, snap, the fact yeah. it's, it's crazy. I like that our uh, most enthusiastic piece of praise from a listener was it's cool watching you guys improve over time. <laughs> I mean, he's wrong because <laughs> we're oh. not. <laughs> what are you talking about? I we took live callers on a live podcast. <laughs> I I was so fucking nervous beforehand. I I feel so much lighter now that that segment's <clears throat> over with. That that I'm out it of worked. outline and don't know what to say live, anymore. It it essentially worked. We did it. My internet didn't fuck up. Matt's here. He's How awake. How is your internet still there? How is Matt still I know. awake? We had Barry, we had James, like we we had callers, we had prizes, and we had a great chat as well. And afterwards, yeah. I gotta call them right back and and give them their prizes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really glad that I don't have to deal with that outer wilds. Uh, I mean, you can just though. text them. You don't have to invade their their ear holes again. Uh, I could. Yeah, and people from Argentina, I, people from Estonia. I, oh, wow. They might be sleeping. Yeah. Was would George were you gonna like call them and like say it out loud, letter by letter, as they I type was it in? Call them and ask them for an email, but no. Wait, no, I don't want to text them. <laughs> Hello. Because... Okay. okay. V A A. Two, three. Oh, it's probably better if I just someone someone did that to you. um someone did that to my friend actually. My friend Robbie uh, back in high school bought a Japanese PlayStation card off of eBay. And they asked for his phone number, and he was like, sure, they always do that on eBay. But the Japanese guy calls him on his cell phone and tries to say it out loud, and he couldn't understand his accent. <laughs> uh, there's <laughs> The international call probably costs more than the fucking card itself. I know! We were so like, <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> there's a hundred different ways reading a code in a Japanese accent could go wrong. <laughs> One... <laughs> no no i'm not gonna try and like follow up on that i let's just before we get into any worse twitter trouble let's let's leave that thought without any any let's, audio let's aids. call this let's call let's call the the hundredth episode uh, a success and yeah success. and an end well what did so i say more, during, baby. during the intro we're gonna be having myself matt visual and leah edwards leading this choo-choo train wreck to its dramatically unchoreographed and unplanned out conclusion and boy oh boy could you definitely tell because uh things after i ran off for the bathroom break things really just went all freestyle jazz but now now it is time for us to part away i mean we could we could carry on taking questions. Oh my like, god, Liam! <laughs> after after okay. the episode ends, after how, the episode ends, how long did our smash stream go for when I was last hanging it out went with for you? Like four hours, maybe five. For hours. some we, reason, we, I remember the number six being involved. Yeah, it was a it was a long stream. Very. very I mean, long. I don't know if the if the chat wants at least a. a people to stick around for a little bit to answer oh. questions about like like you can leave george you no can i can't the stream will end if i do you, 
No, you can you leave the sky. The train the wreck thing. continues. So, you can do so your thing. I could just walk away and and you can walk away. What what if I want to use this computer for something? You can use Turn it. the webcam and microphone off. You still <laughs> use it? No one will see. <laughs> Yeah, uh, just make know. sure you have clothes on, George. Is this like for <laughs> real? Are you serious? <laughs> well, I'm not. I don't know if they are though. Yeah, Liam, I'm, we're about to see like three I'm hours. Gonna, this gonna, is the, the after party. I'm gonna finish the, the, the after No, party. Liam, you you were too young. You you'll you'll <laughs> young son. <laughs> young son. You gotta. I mean, I was told your, I was the dad. Energy one of these years eventually, right? No, Matt's the dad. Liam's the no, young son, no, and I'm no. like a weirdo. No, there was three votes. I got one vote. You, Matt got two. You, you got zero. He got two for death. That's what I said. You're just pointing out that I got zero, even though it's not. <laughs> well, to be fair, I always problem. thought that I always thought George was a dad. So there's one vote for Aww, me. Aw, suck up. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel bad. Yeah, we love George. George is. I feel real bad when I. <laughs> Look at the seven-page outline I put together that was supposed to end the podcast on a nice, conclusive, heartwarming note after taking four listener calls for the four codes. And, yeah, okay, like, I, I have to oh, figure out how to right. text oh. them the, the, their codes on this computer. I can't just leave it. Liam, you can do your own stream, you know? I can't stream. I, my internet shit. <laughs> how is your internet too shit to stream, but it's fine for this? Liam is just trying to. Bring, it takes a lot. Bring, yeah. it takes a lot less to send voice and video than it does to stream a whole stream. Yeah, I've got a party to go to anyway. <laughs> you even have a party. Oh, you're, to you're, go. Oh, you have a party to go to. You got a boner, a boner guy. Boner, boner, boner guy. guy. Boner guy. <laughs> no, how about this boner guy? <laughs> boner guy. Boner guy. Um, James has like a valid excuse. It's literally like the morning for him. Yeah. It, yeah. <laughs> and it being 1.30 is not a valid excuse for me. I mean, you still could be awake drinking. Yeah, I mean, my sleep schedule is all over the place these oh, days yeah, you're anyway. Drinking on a Wednesday night. I'm not uh, Oh, that's Thursday. what I did have. <clears throat> it was peach wine. <laughs> okay, okay. That's, that's yeah. Look at the bottle! I only had like that much. I believe you. You don't. I believe you, George. Don't long, long, see, long square, long square nose. George doesn't have a job. He can do what he wants. Five percent alcohol. <laughs> I, 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 I can't handle that. I'm. I, uh...